Hey YouTube, it's Gail. First of all, thank you all so much for coming out to see my VOD of unpacking. Unfortunately, there was some issues in OBS that caused the game audio to suddenly drop during the live stream and recording, and it is that way for a little while before it comes back about five to six seconds lagging behind my voice and video. Unfortunately, I do not see a fix for it at this time. I was able to patch what I could of the missing audio, but even despite the audio errors, Unpacking was one of those games where I was just so excited to share it with you guys. I fell in love with it, with its visual storytelling, its pacing, its, you know, great graphics and all around wonderful games. So I really wanted to share it with you, even despite the audio issues. That being said, thank you guys so much for all of the likes, the follows, the bits, the cheers. Uh, since my debut and I really hope that you guys continue to support me and enjoy what it is that I do. Feel free to like, subscribe for more and I will go ahead and try to get more videos out to you guys. That being said, let's get unpacking. Say, Okay, restart. You know what? I'm just going to be candid with it. Hi YouTube! Welcome to Unpacking! This is the first time I've ever played this game. Um, it's been on my Xbox for a long time and I just never have uh, gotten around and played it. The only thing I know about this game is that it's very cozy and it has a lot of sounds in it to enjoy. It's very satisfying and uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see what it's all about. So as long as all of my settings are good, my voice and the game audio, let's begin. Oh, hold on. Uh, icon size, allow items anywhere. So this tells me that either subtitles are already a thing or that uh, there is just no like voice acting. So let's go ahead and go. Oh, I got to choose. Um, blue. This book belongs to me. That's how you spell my name. Let's go. Nineteen ninety-seven. All right. Let's unpack. All right. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking you were just literally about to write me. Listen, I've written stranger things for names. All right, let's open the first box. We got a soccer ball. All right, I'm gonna put that there. Oh, gotta have the backpack for quick access. Soccer trophy. Um, Put you right there. So you're not like too close to the end of the dresser, but you're still in like a nice like display area. That and the pencils. That's a ruler. Oh yeah. A di oh, I think this is a diary. Let's go out. Okay, so you need to put the diary in the little writing space. And I'm going to guess that you have Crayola for your diary. I'm actually gonna put this over here. Different notebook. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. This game is in the 90s, hot dog. Uh, <coughs> oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Uh, I forgot how to drink water. Let's see. I don't know what notebook this is, but I'm the kind of person that you put notebooks kind of close together. You never know what one's for. Photo, all right. It's a photo of what appears to be a horse. Piggy bank. All right. Put that there. A book. Or no, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's a photo album. That's definitely a photo album. Simon says. All right, that's going on the shelf. A dreidel. Um. I feel like he would be on the shelf as well. Rubik's, oh, if we're gonna have like a toy shelf, we're gonna put the Simon Says and the Rubik's Cube right here. 
Emma Paul Dance, thank you so much for the follow. Excuse me. Welcome, welcome. Trash can's gonna go here, next to the bed, and easy access for the career. Oh, oh, this looks like a very pretty set. Uh, there we go. That's nice and snug. Proce it's called procedure. Hell yeah. All right, procedure's gonna, <coughs> oh my God. Procedure's gonna go down there. All right, box one down. All right, we got another book. Oh, it's a frog. Okay, frog is gonna be, he's gonna sit on the bed. And the little pony. What is this, Applejack? Are you stuffed or are you plastic? Cause that definitely changes where you're going. I'm going to assume that you're stuffed. Action figure, definitely not stuffed. Action figure is going to go on the shelf. I got, I can only assume this is a dorm of some kind. Oh, she looks great. Rhino lady? Okay, no, Rhino Lady and uh, Rhino Lady is going to go there, but Superhero Lady is going to go there because I'm assuming they're together as a set. Oh, it's Fluttershy. All right. It's a troll! All right, you definitely go on the shelf of uh, colorful things. I... Are you supposed... You're supposed to be like somebody, but I don't know who you are. So you're going to go next to the troll. Tamagotchi. A stuffed duck. Yes. That bag is so sick. This is a gorgeous little micro bag. A pig. All right. This is kind of how I used to have my bedroom set up when I was a little kid. Oh, you have to go somewhere. Okay, can I? I can open you. All right, this changes things. Procedure and the really pretty set are actually gonna, you gonna, uh, gonna go there. And I'm gonna put you here. There we go. Boom box. All right. By the bed, by the foot of the bed, not super in the way, but like just enough where if you want to listen to something, it's like right at your feet. Sounds by Ray. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. We're just doing a little bit of unpacking. And uh, we're gonna put the cassette tapes here. Another book. Looks like the cat in the hat right there. Another book? <gasps> no more book on the bookshelf. Okay. You're currently reading this book. Peter Pan. Okay. Um. Okay. Procedure. You are going to go on there. And we're going to make another little book stack right there. All right. Last box. Here we go. I have no idea what this is. Another book. Pair of scissors. Let's open the drawer. Scissors go there. You know what? All my tools are going in there. Eraser. Oh, it's one of those good kneaded erasers. It's a dragon! Oh, he looks so cute. You're gonna go right there. A poster. Oh my god, is this a Lisa Frank poster? Yes. All right, Dracula, you're going there. Uh, space quest question mark, you're going there. A red Game Boy. I didn't have a red Game Boy. I had a yellow Game Boy. And my sister had one of those like clear purple... Like, you can see the inside Game Boys. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is, like, some kind of seafaring adventure thing. A dis 
uh, I almost said disposable camera. Oh, can that let me take pictures of my little room organization? Oh, achievable. You also had a yellow Game Boy? Hell yeah. Ooh, flashlight for when it gets dark. I think that's all I can fit in that drawer. Another, this looks like, okay. Is this like a camping book or a zoo book? You guys remember zoo books? <laughs> oh, a little red London bus. My husband actually has one of these. Jump rope. Okay, we're gonna put this on the other side because very much like me, it feels good to have exercising equipment without actually doing the whole exercising thing. Ever since winter break ended. Um, oh, you guys are red. Why are you red? Did I put you not in the right place? Well, tough titties, this is my bedroom, all right? This is clearly the optimi like the optimized boombox space because it's, you know, out of the way. You can still touch it if you need to, and it's not like intrusive in the space. How dare you? All right, it's going up there. Uh, diary? Can we hide the diary? Okay, diary doesn't want to be hid. Can we put the diary beneath the pillow? Oh, hell yes, we can. Secret diary. I was one of those kids that like, I kept my diary. Uh, so I actually had bunk beds growing up with my sister. And uh, I loved when I was on the top bunk, but like, because both my sister and I had like a stupid amount of stuffed animals, um, we had like body pillows on like the foot of our bed over here that we would just stuff them on. And I would stuff my diary beneath that instead. But like I move in my sleep, so I would kick my diary. And like, there would be times where I would be like, where's my diary? Someone took my diary and opened it and read it. Oh my God. And it was just like, it had fallen behind the bed because I kicked it in the middle of the night. So I, I was not a uh, put the diary beneath your pillow person. I was put the diary between the very obvious mound of stuffed animals person. All right, Applejack, you're going there. Uh, I guess you're Flutter, like you're the, the original Fluttershy. Okay, they're pleased with that. I liked my boombox on my floor, thank you very much. But uh, sure, we'll do this. All right, and I guess I uh, click on this to continue. Hold on. We'll just jump to here. Huzzah! Also, thank you, Angel Holloway, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Finally, my own room. Unpacked 1997. Oh, shoot, 2004? Oh, so I guess we went to college in 2007, and this is like maybe our first actual studio after grad school? I don't know. Kind of cute. <gasps> right bumper, I get a bathroom? Oh yeah, this is our first apartment. Okay, we're gonna focus on the bedroom first and we're gonna focus on this box. All right, murmur. I'm always a fan of posters on the wall. There you go. A book, a book that has a, it looks like there's a little person with a sword right there. I'd read that book. Okay. And then we got another book. This one's a dragon. So we're into fantasy now. Prismacolor pencils, hell yeah. You're stupidly expensive, but I love you. And good markers, hello. How to draw. This person is me. This person is my high school. Oh, and like maybe anatomy, dance? I said high school, I mean, you know, college, adult life. The P, oh God, this looks like my PC growing up. Hello, big box, let's put you right there. Which means, little monitor, you're gonna go. What if I did big brain, oh, I can't. If I say big brain move, have the monitor face the bed so I can pass out to watching videos like I normally do. There we go. little intel sticker yeah it does kind of right there it doesn't turn on though i can't do anything with it 
All right. Is this my art? Oh my god, they have an Eevee Sona. This person is literally me. All right, the Sona's gonna go above the bed. Our little pig stuff. Oh, toothbrush, toothbrush. Mirror, do you open? You don't open. All right, I guess toothbrush can go on the sink. Toothpaste? Is this, is this whole box? Yes, I actually have one of these little guys. He's a, uh, he lives on one of my shelves. He's a great bookend. So he's gonna, oh, he changes positions. And I got an achievable. Strike a pose. We're gonna put, oh my God, he's dabbing. Ladies and gentlemen, he dabs. Yo, that's awesome. He, what else does he do? Okay, that's a regular, that's a good pose to be in. Okay, we're, your knee, your knee cannot bend like that. I know for a fact that you cannot. See, even Ferdery disagrees. The thinker, and then we're gonna keep him dabbing. Let's go. All right. I also had this boom box as a kid, except mine was like that see-through teal. Jeans, all right. Let's open the wardrobe. Jeans in my house don't get hung up, apparently. No, I, I'm not that tall. Put pants go on the ground. Can I hang you? Thank you. Pants go at pants level. One shoe. Oh, God. Okay. One shoe. And this looks like the left shoe. So one shoe. Is this the other shoe? It is not. This appears, what, it, CDs maybe? Okay, it looks like I just have a kitchen, a bathroom and a bedroom. So CDs, you know what? I'm gonna, oop, bumpers, hello. I'm gonna pack my CDs there. My little boom box. Can I put, no, I have to put you on top of it. All right. The other shoe. All right, other shoe. A boot. One boot. Empty. Who just packs a single boot in a box? I mean, I get your, you know, like very limited on space, but like, come on. Do we have any fun colors in here? Or are we just all neutrals and nudes? We're all neutrals and nudes, folks. This is really the mid 2000s when anything bigger than a B cup was just neutrals and nudes. Now we have more fun colors, which I'm, you know, super thankful for. But damn, back then it was a struggle. Red Game Boy! Easy access, right there on the desk. Oh, see you later, Light! Thank you so much for stopping by. Have fun doing this in real life. All right, little nurse cat or student cat right there. We got purple guy. That's a dragon skull. The eraser. I'm gonna go with my supplies there on the desk. A filing. Paper file. All right, that, that feels like it's gonna go up here. Damn it. Up here full of important stuff. All right. Uh, rolled up underwear, I guess? All right, close you. Open you. Oh, that's cute. It's pink with a little bow. It's striped. All right, but you're gonna bother me if you're not facing the same direction. Toaster, all right. Toaster gets plugged in next to the outlet. Otherwise not gonna toast your toast. I'm guessing the underwear was used to pad around the toaster to make sure it didn't get scratched up. My Rubik's Cube. All right, we're gonna put you there. This is sort of bookend. That one's galaxy themed. All right, there you go. Yellow. 
oh, cute little dance t-shirt. Kind of like looks like a, like a Pokemon trainer pose. You know how they do? All right. There we go. Another stripey. There we go. Another purple. And that is box number two. Third box, let's go. Pencils. Here we go. Another book. We're gonna start stacking them this way. Can I get it to go? Yes, I can. There we go. A mouse. Damn it. All important mouse. Mouse pad. Can the mouse go on the mouse pad? Yes, it can. The ruler. You know, it's kind of a shame that we don't really have like an under desk sort of thing. Planner. Uh, planner's gotta go easy access right here. Big ol' thick book. We love to see it. More art. <gasps> messenger bag! Alright, messenger bag by the foot of the bed. Easy access. Uh, the iPad. iPad. Wow. Showing my age here. The original MP3 player. Let's hang up the flannel. And the sad boy t-shirt. There we go. Uh, some... Why do I keep doing that? Some dark jeans. Little piggy bank there on the shelf. Oh, koi t-shirt. Super pretty. There we go. Hello, Cheese Crocs. Welcome in. Yeah, decided to stream a little bit last uh, today. It's nice and cozy. Got our little action figure. I still don't know who that's. It almost kind of looks like Zen. Like an early prototype of Zen. <laughs> All right. Ooh, some nice like royal blue jeans. Our soccer ball. You know what? You can just be on the ground. Notebook. An indiscriminate notebook or? Oh, it's a kitty cat. It just says meow. You know what? Graphic tees can be folded. All right, last box. Big old jacket. Okay, I feel like the jacket has to be hung up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hang some of the more graphic tees down here. We're gonna hang the big jacket. We're gonna grab the let's dance. We're gonna fold you. Alarm clock. Oh, that was completely covering that. Okay, so we can actually put some of these in here. So notebook, you're gonna go in there. Sailor Moon t-shirt, let's go. All right, I guess we can close you just as fine. I'm still looking for this other boot. The fact that there was a single boot in one of these bothers me. Here we go. Blouse, I feel like has to be hung up because it's a nice shirt. My little bus, hello. All right, can I set you? Nope, you can't be set. Little tower, all right. Getting more decorative with it. Maybe we went to Paris at one point. All right, nice long sleeve polo. Oh, these are jammies. That's not a polo at all. All right, jammies get to be folded underneath the bed. Are these more jammies? I don't have enough room to put all these clothes, I don't think. What's up with the udon noodles on your antlers? I like stringing things through them. Little trinkets and everything, but right now they're just kind of naked. But that's it. They're just little charms. They wiggle. You know it also wiggles? Hey! You know, if it was Christmas, uh, there's a thing you can do in VTube Studio where I attached uh, ornaments to my antlers and I wiggled my head back and forth, but it was it was very distracting. <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna have to figure some things out here because I don't think I'm gonna have enough room for all of my clothes because I apparently did not bring hangers with me. So pajamas, as much as I love them, 
cannot live beneath the bed. Pajamas and their sets are going to have to live in the closet, which is okay. We just can't get dressed in the dark. There we go. Can I move these back? Yes, I can certainly move those back. Can I move? I'm gonna just stack my jeans. Okay. Which means, oh, we have more undies. There we go. Can never have too many. It's a great start to your day. All right. If I have more undies, I have no idea where I'm going to put them. <gasps> Toilet paper. There we go. A nature book, maybe? Let's see. Yep, just a regular old book. So we're gonna horizontally stack a few. Maybe a photo album right there. Another one of my graphic tees. Another pair of jeans. Never have too many of those. All right, which means that you got to be put there and you get to be put there. Let's see, where is my other shoe? That's what I want to know. Where is this other, It's if it's packed in one of these, why? I don't know, but uh, let's, uh, yeah, I think we got everything hung up. I think we have our important papers in a good place. We have our hidden notebook. You're sad about the dragon. I'm assuming that we didn't keep it, unfortunately. Um, we, we took the little nurse cat and our pig to, I guess, what appears to be our dorm. I know this is our first apartment. We're past the dorm. All right. I am going to have my piggy face the right direction, though. Shelf's a little bit bare up here. Uh, I wonder if I can't put... Is the planners important to keep close by? And I'm overthink- I'm like way overthinking this, but like... <laughs> I'm not tall enough to reach anything on that shelf, so I think it's okay as is. There we go. We got everything. Look at that nice room, all unpacked. Now, my second favorite room in the house. Let's go. Little hands towel. Not the color I would have picked, but okay. A little bar of soap. Do we have a soap sa A mug? Is this a, is this a mug or is this a like a toothbrush toothpaste? Oh, it's a it's a toothbrush holder. Deodorant. Can't forget that. Perfume? Question mark or maybe it's facial stuff. Hairbrush, we're running out of room to play. I'm very upset that this mirror does not open. Hairbrush, I don't want to put on the back of the toilet. That's not hygienic. I, you know what? Hairbrushes belong in rooms because when you wake up, you brush your hair. And that's something if you had a vanity, you'd do in front of it. All right, first aid kit. Definitely a great thing to have. Another random bra. Also in a neutral color, Sag. Well, it's like a light gray this time. Uh, we got some feminine hygiene products. Can 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 you can 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 you can you go back? Can can you can 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 you go can 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 you go? Thank you. Uh, the shampoo. I love when companies do this, when they invert the shampoo and conditioners just makes it very easy to find in the stores. We got another toilet paper. Also good to have so you don't leave your guests stranded. Big plush towel. Let's go. More feminine hygiene products. We're gonna nestle that one right there. Tiny little footstool toilet. I said toilet. I meant, you know, <laughs> frying for when you're doing your cooking in the bathtub. All right, uh, we're not, I don't like storing things on top. 
of stoves. I feel like pots and pans need to have their place, but we're just gonna like put you right there for now. All right. Close that. I also make pancakes. <laughs> One of my friends in college, I kid you not, we had an 8 a.m. class on separate rooms um, at the very top floor of one of like these super old buildings. So like the doors were basically parallel to another. And I walk in one day and I like, I was in a seat that could look out the door and into the classroom across the hall. And my friend, I kid you not, just brought an entire whole ass skillet to class and was just making pancakes for everybody. And because it was an old building, like the walls were super thin. And so the smell just wafted everywhere. And it was honestly, I was like, I kind of feel bad that I can't go over and enjoy pancakes because that smells absolutely delicious. But yeah, you know, teacher was lecturing, people were eating pancakes. A little espresso mug, sugar. All right, cookie jar. Cookie jar goes up here, else my hand will be in it constantly. Plate. What happens if I'm too short to reach all of these? Bowl. Bowl. Plate. That's the thing I have to consider. Am I tall enough to reach these? Okay, uh... Oh, you don't have, like, a little thing to hang- Oh, yeah, you can hang it right there. <gasps> Silverware! Okay, hold on. Forks. Knives in the long one. And spoons. And then you get clothes, because you're the silverware drawer now. And now you are the kitchen catch-all. Um, that is definitely hand soap. So that's gonna go there. This is definitely dish soap. Uh, roach spray, I'm assuming. We're gonna nestle that into the corner. A panini maker! All right, panini maker goes up here with the cookie jar. Cutting board. All right, I'm cool with storing you on top. Uh, again, with the, uh, all right. You're gonna go there for now. Crock pot. You're gonna go back underneath there. Vegetable oil. All right, now I'm just putting things to put place. What is, paper, paper towels? Maybe? Don't know what that is, all right. Sponges. A spatula. All right, that's an empty box. Hey, KMF Moon, thank you so much for the follow. Um, I think I'm gonna move this stack of plates here to be able to move our pots and pans. Oh, you're a long boy. You're not gonna wanna be put. Oh, you can put them all the way at the top too. You can't be put up there. I think we have to go here as much as it pains me. All right. But decorative cookie jar, you're gonna go up here. Oh, was that an achievable? It was a sometimes food. Put the cookie jar out of reach. Man, I was just doing that for just like, giggles but hey if it got my keyboard okay some rearranging here keyboard and mouse go over there ruler don't know what you're used for you can't go in there can you what if i placed you really nicely in there no no okay you really won't go anywhere else i guess you can go there Keyboard. Cute keycaps, though. And, uh, can I put you... Hmm. 
I can't go on the sill or anything. All right, I'm going to put the memory books up here, putting the planner here. So you can just really quickly grab it and walk out, I guess. Another plate. Another bowl. Is this a steak and shake mug? Oh my god, I own this exact cup. It's a knife! Alright, special knife. Can't go in there. So special knife is going to go in my bedroom. Wooden spoon. I don't like how I have limited space. But it is des uh, definitely forcing me to think about... What are these? What is the... It's a can opener. Okay. Tiny sponge. Go here. An electric kettle. Let's go. And it matches my toaster. Yes. My other boot. Let's not leave the bra drawer open, please. And thank you. Let's put that right there. Beautiful. All right. Uh... Is this one of those, like, can grippers where you put it around the ring of the can and it opens the jar for you? Tiny plate. Can't go on top of big plate, but it can go next to the other mugs. There we go. Jesus, that's a huge thing of salt. Who needs that much salt? Das boot was found. I am glad we finally got our boot. That was definitely, uh, definitely a good thing. Um, coffee or tea? Hey, this is starting to look like my own kitchen where everything's just like in a stack and it's... Uh, more spoons? Measuring spoons. Okay. Let's figure out these. Okay, this is not in a good space. Something's angry in the bedroom. It doesn't like my bag being on the floor. What's wrong with my bag being on the floor? Can bag go like up here? Can... Is that okay? Are you okay with that? Yes. I mean, I have to go grab it every single morning, you know, reach up and unless I can do like something like this. I can. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay, clearly I have to find room for y'all. I don't know what this is. If it is it one of those like sticky, like you put it in the oven and it's like an anti-stick. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And I don't know what you're supposed to be either. But uh, I guess utensil drawer number two, we're just gonna stick you in here. With all the other miscellaneous damn it utensils and then if you are a spoon there we go you're the, the actual spoons trash bags oh my god how did i not see that all right trash bags can just go beneath the sink i need to stop pressing the bumpers and the towel uh can I put, can I, towel, towel? I guess I can just store you there? Sure, all right, cool. I'd rather have you like hanging on like, you know, the handle of my oven, which I apparently don't have. But let's go. Took a picture of my super cluttered kitchen. I have to cook for myself, uh-oh. Hey, speak for yourself, my dude. I'm a great cook. Unpacked 2004. I do like all of these little stickers, though. Beginning, heck yeah, a sometimes food. Independence. That's a big ol' sticker. Okay, let's move on. 2007, three years later, Oh no, we're cosplaying Sailor V!
Now, are we packing up or are we like continually unpacking? This is so cool. All right, I'm going to assume we are unpacking again. Book. Well, it's nice that they kind of have like a thing like already going for you so far. More book. Bab and I have to, it's this girl again. I'm gonna go there. More book. Uh, art book? Art album? That's definitely a coffee table book. Ooh, uh, this is folded. All right, bigger, yes, thank you, right here. So I guess this may, oh, good. Oh my goodness, okay. This is a huge room. Okay, and this is like a closet proper. So you are, what even are you? Can I fold you? Okay, you're just a regular shirt, but you have bell sleeves, which leads me to believe that you're like made of like a really nice material. Oh my, did I buy my first house? Is this what this is, my house? Oh. Oh, look at this. Are they playing D? They're playing D&D. &D. <gasps> For got super excited too. That's cool. All right. I can't pick anything up. So that leads me to believe that you can't like rearrange some of this stuff. You just have to put things away. I do like a lot of pictures hanging up. Our boombox. Our trusty boombox. Now the question is, do we want to listen to music while playing D and D, or do we want to listen to music in our bedroom? I personally vote bedroom. Bedroom is definitely more music time for me. All right, trusty cassettes. Trusty cassettes cannot fit. Can trusty, ca trusty cassettes. The soup pot, let's go. All right, soup pot. Do we have a system of organization here? Yes, we do. Look at that. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Another book? Or maybe, these are Blu-rays. These are clearly Blu-rays. Book. Uh, Rascal. There we go. Oh no. Well, the D&D &D painting has to go above the D&D &D table, right? Hold on, is that centered? Okay, what is centered? Perspective, help me, what is centered? That looks centered. All right, boom, there we go. Bedroom always for sleeping to tunes? Hell yeah. With the holidays just passing, um, one thing that I did with my older sister when I was GameCube. Wait, why do you, oh, you have the special controller. All right. Wait, you have a GameCube and a PlayStation? Hot diggity dog, look at that. Oh, nope. Spoon, there we go. And I guess these are the games. Giant blanket on the couch, 100%. Let's go. Look at that. Oh, are we into roller derby? Is that what this is? We live a pretty exciting life. Look at that. Oh yeah, there's a roller derby thing on the poster here. <gasps> Hell yeah. All right, let's unpack the D&D &D room next. But um, no, going back to Christmas, um, my older sister had one of those like clock radios and there was uh whenever the holidays would roll around one of our local radio stations would just play non-stop christmas music 
uh, I'm gonna pretend that you're that person. And this is clearly someone's notebook. But um, every time Christmas rolled around, we would have to put on that uh, that channel and we would fall asleep to it because that's when ra uh, clock radios had sleep timers. The Eiffel Tower made it. It is also very interesting to see what's been making the trips with you and what hasn't. Because like as I've moved around as much as I have in my lifetime, it is interesting to see, you know, the stuff that makes you through like five moves versus what takes you through like two and a half is always very interesting. The Little Red Bus! Yes. All right, Little Red Bus is going to be used as a bookend for this series right here. Oh, we have a Leaning Tower of Pisa now. Well, that's got to go up here next to the cool statues. All right, we got another book. We got another module. And we got this book. All right. The kitten made it. This kitten is very special to us, apparently. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so fluffy! It's absolutely adorable. And it has a baby! Alright. There we go. Oh, our guy made it. There we go. Do your thing, my dude. Desk companion. Oh, you can only dab one way, so I guess it'll be up here. Now you could probably like stand on your chair and hit that, right? That's a that's a thing you can do. Yeah, hundred percent. Sure, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> All right. And then we have one last little frame. Where do, oh, oh, you know what? I really like bathroom art. There we go. All right, D&D &D room is done. All right, time to tackle the monster that is the bedroom. You are immediately just gonna go right here. I'm not even gonna chance with you. Um. Yeah, you're gonna be back a bit. Notebook. Paper. It's a drawing. Okay, can it go on the wall? It cannot. Uh, clearly, can it go? It can go on the cork board. Let's go. Notebook. This is a moleskin, 100%. The Prismacolor pencils. Here in the corner. Here in the corner, here in the corner. Uh, the good markers. The good markers. We have a lot of good markers, it looks like. Hell yeah. Little note cards. Desk alarm clock. All right, where are you gonna go? Postcard, right there. Another postcard. So it looks like we've traveled to a lot of these places or want to travel to a lot of these places. The original MP3 player, let's go! And a hanger. Apparently think we did actually pack hangers. All right, D20. Right there. The Intuos, right there. The mouse pad. The mouse. And the keyboard. Because this one's, you know, if you're, if you're like me, you know that that one has to, you know, take precedent. And our planner, we're gonna put next to our alarm clock. That's done. The tower goes in its home. The tower home. Hat? Okay, uh, sure. 
put that there for now. Okay. Uh, undies, maybe? More undies? Alright. Oh, the little checkers. Photo album, maybe? It's gonna bother me if it doesn't all face one direction. Oh, it can't. Alright. I see how it is. A single shoe. That's gonna go there. Oh, the boots are back. All right, we're just gonna unload everything. Okay, you go there, you go there. At least I didn't have to like fight to find where the other boots were first. actually hang these pants. Yes, we can because they feel like they are nice dress pants. We are going to move this other hanger though so we can put the clippies together. Nice skirt behind the pants. A nice shirt. All right. Our folded up graphic tees. Got a D&D &D shirt. Awesome. Big jacket. Empty box. All right. Another notebook. Another book book. This feels like a D and D module. So we're gonna put you there. Is this a S Game Boy Advance SP? Let's go. Let's put it on the table because that's where mine kind of lives. And these are the cartridges that go with it. So that's going to go uh, right next to the TV. More books. Who puts padding for shoes and pants while moving? That's a good question. I, I think they were just in there to be in there because, you know, you kind of just have to pack as is. But, you know, I'm the kind of person that uses the clothing as packing, you know, with as soft as SP should be the full. Yeah, I also had a one of those, too. I had a red one. And uh, my parents got me like, do you remember how many accessories used to come with those things? Like, I had, like, a miniature, like, child tote bag of all the accessories that you can put on a uh, Nintendo SP. Oh, the pig made it! Our diploma. Hell yeah. And right after it, more underwear. But I remember, like, I would go to my, uh family functions with a messenger bag just full of Game Boy cartridges and accessories and I would just sit there and play. The file folder of important stuff. Here we go. Ooh. Whoops. Uh, mm, okay. Uh, I guess this could be a skirt that you can fold. Maybe it's not as nice as the red one. Let's go. Is this the poster? Yeah, this is the Three Miles Home poster. Oh, wait, no, here's another hanger. It's not the same as the uh, jeans hanger. The jeans we'll put next to the skirts. Frisbee? God knows I'm not playing that. All right. Oh my God, are these like the grippy feet sandal things? What is this? Some miniature vacuum? 
I don't know what that is. Oh look, it's got colorful, hell yeah. Now, no, now we're living. Tote bag. You know what, we're gonna put you in the footy shoes on this side of the closet. Cause I don't know why else. All right, I think this box has to move in order for me to put all of the stuff away. A nice shirt, there we go. Oh, that feels like a nice shirt. Um, maybe this is like a folded nice shirt. Oh, are we back? Hello, yes, we're back. Didn't know there even was a little hiccup. Hello. Okay, as long, as long as we're good. Hey, back, yeah, we're back. Oh, it's just talking about putting blouses. An apron. Oh God, I remember when I had to have my own uniform. Yoga mat. Yoga mat can't fit. Yoga mat. Can yoga mat live underneath the table? Where does yoga mat go? Oh god, this is like a me now problem of like, where the hell does all my stuff go? In my apartment. Yoga mat, can you live beneath? <gasps> yoga mat can live beneath the bed. Yes, you can. Pajamas, pajamas. All right. Uh. All right. Pajamas, we're gonna find a place for you. Hold on just a second. Oh, I have three pairs of pajamas. Hell yeah. Another blouse, another nice blouse. No, the nice things go back here. My little, that's, that's the bathroom trash. <gasps> it's not the bathroom trash can, it's the bathroom trash can's right there. I guess my own personal trash can? Or no, put it in the D&D &D room because everyone knows that you're gonna have trash from snacks and everything in there. Perfect. Go where I can't see you. Okay. Hell yeah. All right. Let's figure out a place. There's one shoe. Can I put you beneath the... I don't know what you... I don't know what you're supposed to be. You, but you do kind of have that, like, sound of an appliance, kind of. There we go. And then the jammy jams will just stack and put them where they belong, right in the front for maximum coziness. There we go. Nice cleaning. I still don't know what this is supposed to be. Um. That looks like a vacuum cleaner, right? Like the, the little attachments, like that's the hose. And that that's like the baggie, like or, or like maybe like a recyclable baggie. I don't know. But let's move on to the bathroom. A toothbrush? <gasps> Wait, no. There's two tooth. We moved in with somebody, didn't we? Guys, I, I, I think we like somebody. And like, there's a rate. I'm the kind of person that will put the razor in the shower. Uh, nail clippies? Go there. Hairbrush? I'm still of the persuasion that it belongs somewhere in your bedroom. But, uh, if it can't fit there, then, uh, this is fine. Is this a travel baggie? Is this a makeup baggie? That feels like a travel makeup baggie or like a nail thing. Uh, perfume doesn't really go anywhere. <gasps> Back scratchy, yes. <gasps> Shampoo and conditioner. 
also I find this entertaining that like we have like the tiny bottles of shampoo and conditioner and whoever is living with us has like the giant tubs of whatever it is. Like head and shoulders three in one. Air freshener. That seems like a laundry thing. There we go. I figure you're a college roommate in a college house thing. Maybe. Either way, we are living with somebody. All right, little heart bug. Oh, they have like a, their own little mug. I can't mess up that little mug collection. I wonder if like the things here belong to the other person and we're just like placing our stuff with them. That's a high possibility. All right, baking stuff, whisks, silverware. There we go. Is it cookie jar? Cannot go up there. But it can go in the baking stuff. Our thing of sugar? Okay, I guess we're gonna put it right here. Next to what I can only assume that is like the hot kettle. Uh, lots of baking stuff up here, so the vegetable oil can go up there too as well. The long knife. What? What, what are? What are you? You look like a little platypus. What are you supposed to be? What are you supposed to be? <gasps> They're magnets. That's why I thought you looked like a little platypus, because you're a koala! You know what? They're in love. There we go. Another plate. Another bowl. Another mini plate, but we're not going to stack them too high. Soda bottle? Water bottle? Specialty bottle? Either way, going to go up there. Pan. Where did I see the pans? Are they down here? Yes, they were. Nope, don't move. You were perfectly fine where you were. This is a towel? Yes. Also, it it, it's now slowly starting to bother me the way this person packs. Because unless that towel was meant to like hold, oh, they can't, things can go up here. Hold on. Cookie jar, where'd you go? Where did I put you, cookie jar? Oh, I put you back here. Cookie jar, you don't need to. No, cookie jar can't go there, but the panini maker can. So I guess that panini maker is just going to live very high. Like my own panini maker. Where I can't get to it. Cleaning supplies, mm, things underneath the sink. That's clearly a tub of something, but we're going to put the first emergency kit down there. We're going to put the extra sponges. Can you, do you have, why do I keep doing that? Do you have room right here? No. Do you have room right here or in here? No. Okay. Next best thing. Utensils. Uh, utensils. Close that. And the cutting board. There we go. All right. Something's mad at me. You don't put your nail clippers in the drawer? Really? I, I, can, you, can you put it? Does that satisfy you? Okay. Vacuum. Can it be put up here? Sure. Or whatever you turned out to be. I don't know. You are in the wrong place. And the, the little trash can's in the wrong? Can I put the little trash can in the bedroom? Yes, I can. Okay, apparently. Actually, I'm going to put it on the interior of our... There we go. So it's just kind of out of the way. There we go. All right. 
I really like our D&D room. This is, this, this was my post-college bedroom, like to a T, except instead of a bedroom, it was a loft. Let's, let's keep it on our D&D bedroom. There we go. The little D20, that's so cute. Game nights just got more convenient. Hell yeah, they did. Two thousand ten. It's about three years later. Ooh, we've upgraded. Oh, that's a really pretty fight. Okay, okay. We have a pet. This is Animal Crossing. We have a pet beetle. You need to like live where I can see you. Clearly. An achievable. Yeah. All right. Very interesting. Very like chic decor. Ooh. This is very modern furniture. But let's see what we can do with it. We don't have a game room anymore. That's okay, the dice will be symbolic. As will our bard. Uh, is this a game? That looks like a game, so that's gonna go there. Because these are Xbox games. A ukulele? Uh, sure. Why is the underwear all the way? Oh, look at- Yeah, we moved in with somebody. Okay, so he has his underwear in this drawer. And in this drawer? Oh, uh, uh, boxers in one, underwear in the other. Okay, got it. here? Yeah, the old GameCube games. And what was this? Oh, we can put the book here. This was our drawing coffee book. All right. Another big book. Another big book. An old sketchbook of ours, maybe? We really don't have a good place to put that yet. Our dragon book that we had. I think this is a trilogy that we owned. The GameCube made it! And I keep doing that. His and hers? Maybe? Hell yeah, the GameCube games. Oh, here, okay. Ukulele, you're not going to live there. You are going to live somewhere else. Live in the closet where I can't hear you. There really is no good place for this, is there? I'm going to make room for my games. I don't know how many of them I kept with me. Clearly it was more that can fit right there. So you know what? We're going to move these up here. Because apparently I was doing that beforehand and just didn't realize it. Oh my god. Can you... Can, is there not... Is there not enough space? You know what? There. We'll just say this. You know what? This one's currently being played, so it is currently on the table. A little chick. Uh, we're gonna hold off and. Oh, wait, no. Clearly, we have more YouTube or YouTube games. Goodness gracious. Uh, clearly, we have more um, GameCube games that I know what to do with. Can I sneak these two over here? By the. By this guy? 
Oh, I can move that. All right. So I can move his stuff. Okay. All right, we're just gonna put the ukulele there. And the GameCube! Can the GameCube- The GameCube not fit? What is this? Why do you not have the GameCube plugged in? All right, big mama chicken, you're gonna go there. The CDs and cassette tapes. Still for that good, good music. Oh, the chicken collection has grown. Oh, a book on ukulele, okay. A music book. The big gigantic throw. Another one of our sketchbooks. Um, I guess we can put them here. Where did I throw the other one? Up here. There we go. The moleskin. There we go. Some of our favorite movies. Which I'm guessing these are. Oh, is there not enough for- you can kind of go on that side. Fair enough. All right. That's clearly- can you make just a little space for my giant baby? Yes, you can! Look at that! Coffee table book. Clearly cannot fit, so we're gonna pop you there. The dancing book. typeface our big jacket all right here's what we're gonna do you do have it separated by pants and shirts I'm not gonna like ruin that for you I'm assuming that's going to be a different, just another art book. I do want to know like what the random beetle is doing, but maybe this last little box will help with that. Our tower. Yeah, we're gonna use you as thick old bookends. This is C. Nope, that's definitely not a CD. It is some type of book though. Oh, it's, it's, it's the person with the fantasy sword. Maybe I really liked this series. There we go. Oh, that's a really thick book. Speaking of thick books, I have made it a 2024, I guess you would say uh, like resolution, even though like we all know how, you know, well, we all adhere to New Year's resolutions. Um, I do want to try and read more. Oh my god, we- The Little Red Bus! Let's go! Alright, Little Red Bus is going to- Where's the Little Red Bus going to live? It kind of clashes with the rest of the room. So the Little Red Bus is going to nestle between what I can only assume is the Shakers. and the Zen Garden. I am going to slightly move the glasses though. They can definitely be stacked a little bit nicer. And we are gonna have just a little bit more room. I'm moving the notebooks. And I'm putting, there we go. Now the DVDs are next to each other. There we go. Awesome. All right. So chicken. Chicken has to go somewhere. Uh, I'm going to also assume that that is a DVD. You know what? Uh, 
I almost want to put them in front of the TV. But, um, no. Mama Chicken, you, you guys are going to hold off right there until I can clean off the, uh, I can clean off the bedroom. How do my thumbnails keep getting more awesome, though? Also, hello! Hello, Wolf Dwarf! Thank you so much! Uh, that's really nice of you to say. I, uh, it, it's just practice and just kind of figuring out how to go from where you're going. I'm gonna put the moats next to each other because if it's on the side here, I am going to forget it. All right. Let's tackle the bathroom next. Okay. Uh, nail bag, I'm guessing this is? All right. Let me see if I can't rearrange some of this stuff. So beard stuff. Why is the mouthwash all the way up there? Cologne, that's fine. You really don't need to access that a super whole lot. All right, so the we got an electric toothbrush, nail clippers, a razor. No, I can't put the, hold on. Let me see if I can't move. I really hope he doesn't get mad at me for like moving all of his stuff, but honestly speaking, you can totally optimize space. Oh, the heart mug is chipped. Oh, that's an interesting detail. All right, those are very nice glasses. I do kind of feel like I'm almost a little bit out of place moving in here. Like this is totally fine. This is colorful, has so many aesthetics going for it. This room is very well put together in a very nice fashion. Bedroom, oh, a little so-so. You get to like the kitchen though, and it's clearly everything matches everything has a set but like the stuff that's important to you you know you gotta make room for even though it might not necessarily like fit with what you currently have uh is this shaving gel i'm guessing i'm guessing that's shaving gel <gasps> febreze uh maybe we can stick that there my D, &D shirt all right let's fold it up Can we, I'm guessing this is like a medicine. At least there's a medicine drawer now. Can you fit in there? You cannot fit in there. That's, a, that's actually a nice like sneaky little corner back there. We don't have a place to really hang or like put our shampoo and conditioner, but the floor is fine. Ooh. You got a lot of fun stuff in you. A straightener? Hell yeah. A panini maker? Can live beneath the cabinet. The miniature trash can. Can you live beside the toilet? Yes, you can. Birdsong, hey, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Hope you're enjoying your, what is, th is this more perfume? Is this mustard? What is this? I'm gonna guess it's perf, more perfume. I don't know what it's meant to be. I'm gonna assume that's like our perfume. The brush, the first, the first aid can be right here for easy access. Uh, the deodorant. All right. Can we stack these? A little bit nicer. Yes, we can. Look at that. See, just rearranging everything. When you when you buy dishes and silverware, it tends to come in sets. Oh yeah. Uh, one of the first. I, my husband and I had a joke for our registry. Like we lived with each other before um, we got married. And so, like, he had been living by uh, uh, with roommates for a while, so he had a whole set. And when I moved in, I just kind of brought, like, you know, the essentials along. But over the years, it was, you know, just an accumulation of silverware and plates and bowl. I kid you not, 
last year when I got married, I had like five different sets of um, like dishes, like, you know, bowls from five different sets, plates from like two different, you know, it was kind of like that hodgepodge thing. And I looked at him and I was like, Bab, I don't really want a lot of things on a registry because like, you know, I don't really enjoy throwing things away just to get like something like brand new when there was nothing wrong with the, like, the ones you had in the first place. But I will kill for a matching dish, uh, matching dish set. And uh, we actually have one now. We got rid of everything else, and it is it it is very nice to have. Um, we do still kind of have a little bit of the other mismatchy stuff because I know I have all my coffee mugs. He has all of his like mixing glasses, like all of his uh, whiskey glasses and martini glasses. And what was I? Oh, uh, we just finished the bathroom, so we can go ahead and start on. Oh, it's our little bell sleeve shirt. But yeah. Total, totally worth it to get an actual set. Oh, no. Close the door. Open that one. Thank you. My mom's home only had two to three plates for each set. Uh, that's why on our registry, we were like, hey, this is the set that we want. Um, put it on there like six times because you want the set that you're going to use every day, but you know, like life happens. So like you obviously want backups for when things, you know, get chipped or like an accident happens. And then like, I kid you not, like three months after our wedding, we discovered that one of our local like big box stores sells our set, like our exact set of dishes. And that was like, cool. They have things here that weren't originally on the actual like website for like, there's like the miniature dishes. There's um, like all of like, the mixings. Oh, we, we kept our, uh, we kept our advance. Hell yeah. Cartridges can't fit there. So they're going to live right here. Yeah, they're going to live right here. Um. <laughs> Our ink. Oh, don't we have we don't have a desk anymore, do we? Sacrifices, man. Well, like, I guess like with it being as late as it is, maybe. Oh no, the photo album. This is. I feel like th this has been with us since the very beginning. This is important. Uh, Pokemon run on that. Maybe. I don't think that was the, like, Red was the, the original, um, like, the OG Game Boy. My little one pound weights. I will say we have gotten way more colorful, which is nice. We finally hit that, uh, turn of the, uh, you know, the, the 2010s where they were like, let's make, you know, undergarments colorful. So I had a theory growing up in high school. I was like, if you have matching undergarments, you know, you know that nobody else does. But that's like, you know, your day is going to be a good day. You match. Have fun with it. Yeah, Ruby and Sapphire would have been the first on the advance, which I don't know. Ruby and Sapphire, I played Emerald. I put a stupid amount of hours into emerald like i'm talking like 90 plus uh and i oh the pig the pig made it i'm gonna say that this is our side of the bed but uh i skipped ruby and sapphire because i did not have uh access to it when it first came out and then I just never went back and played it. But now I have Omega Sapphire, I want to say. And I will eventually play that. Uh, okay. Let's figure... Okay. Can I not... I can't stack it because your jeans are in the way. Can I move you? I can. So you don't have to... I just need to be able to stack my jeans, dude. Can, can you move your... All right, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna move the jeans 
We're going to put the nice blouse there. We're going to stack our jeans up. And those are our nice PJs. Okay. Nope. We're going to keep our things separate. Thank you. Our nice skirt. Oh, hold on. I just lost chat. Uh, chat, where'd you go? Hello? Chat? Chat, where'd you go? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Alright, I found you again. Sorry, I switched to OBS and like I went to click something and it was just like, you closed one of your windows and I was like, no, no, I, I need them. I need Chad. But no, you have not been left. Of, I would not, I would not leave you behind. All right, let's hang up our nice skirt. This one has pockets. All right, pocket skirt, pocket jeans. Okay, my dude, you're gonna have to start making space. If we're gonna move in together, you know, your, your things are, are allowed to touch. Oh, look, our hangers compared to his. Okay. Um skirt on top of the nice shirt. You know what? We deal with it. That's a really cute blouse. All right. Sweater. Sweaters you're not really supposed to hang. I learned sweaters you're actually supposed to fold because over time the threading can get really messed up from the gravity of just being on a hanger. If we had an underbox, like a box that's made specifically to go underneath the bed, that would be ideal. What did I pop back here? What is this? My diploma, gonna go under the bed. Cause let's be honest, have I really used it? I have. I have used my own diploma. But does it have a space in this household? Does my achievables, my own achievements have a space? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna close these. We're gonna close this and we're gonna put we can't. Interesting. We can't put our diploma on the wall. Oh, we can. Right. All right, we, we can put our, we can put our diploma on the wall, but it's gotta be in the bathroom. All right. <sighs> Worthy of the $30,000 in debt that I'm in. Hell yeah, let's go. No. <laughs> um, it's going to go for safekeeping. It's going to go there. Yoga mat! Oh, I can go underneath the bed. Hell yeah. <gasps> okay, maybe I can hang one of my skirts. Can I hang you? Hang the cute skirt? Yeah. <gasps> A little purple purse. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, high heels. You can be reminded of your four years in college every time you poop, though. True. I didn't enjoy my time in university, though. So, like, it, it will be, a, you know, a pleasurable poop. Okay, can I, like, scoot y'all in? Yes, I can. It weirds me out when, like... There's space in between something that clearly has, like, space to, like, touch something else. Like, if you can get yourself to the wall, get to the wall. Move forward. Optim- uh, the, the, you know, semantics of the game in this case, but, you know, there has to be space somewhat- Oh! It hits the shoes! Oh no! Alright, where are our loafers gonna go? We're gonna slightly move these over here. You know what? Our high heels look like they're nice. So I'm going to move our heels up here and our like lazy little loafers. If I can just stop pressing the button I'm not supposed to press. 
these guys can go here. Our apron! I don't think we need this anymore. Did we have... We can't hang it up, but we can... Here. We're gonna hang this shirt up, because that looks like a nice polo. And we're gonna fold the apron. And we're gonna... Oh, wait, this is a nice blouse. How many nice... <gasps> That's also a really nice cardigan! Okay, we're gonna have to make some decisions here of what gets hung. So you can be folded. You're bulky, so you probably need to get hung as well. You're nice, you're nice, and the nice things are gonna go on top of... Uh, mm, mm. Nice things are gonna go on top of the silly clothes. You know what? We can, we can just deal with that. All right, and then... You know, the pig's been with us through thick and thin. Our current moleskin, done. We have our own little happy corner of art and games and everything. Interesting, we kept the CD cartridges, but we did not keep the boombox. But we do kind of have a recorder over here, I guess. And like a really nice sound system, so maybe we didn't need to keep it. Maybe we chose to get rid of it. All right, what is left? Kitchen, bamboo plant needs to be probably by a window. There we go. All right. Oh my, oh, it's a food processor. Okay, first of all, your espresso maker, very nice. We're gonna do some organizing here. That looks like a specific coffee drip and a scale. Ripperoni boombox taken far too soon. Cookie jar. Cookie jar can't go up here. Cookie jar has to go somewhere. All right, cookie jar, take a breather. Measuring cups that are very colorful. Ooh, I do like that silverware though. That is some pretty silverware. All right, this is like a meat thermometer and hold on, what is that? What are you? This is a espresso stamp. Okay. This is uh, rags and cutting board, and this is kettle protein. All right, and measuring cup. So I like to organize by function in my kitchen, but this honestly seems to be like more kitchen utilities. Oh, I want espresso now. That actually does sound really- Oh, there are mini versions of each other! That's so cute. Oh, also, hi, cat! Hello! This is my first time playing this, and I'm really enjoying how the, the story is kind of unfolding. Like, right now we're experiencing what it's like to move in, I guess, with a partner for the first time. And the partner clearly has an aesthetic, and our- Aside from- th this room's amazing. I love this room. Aside from this room, everything is clashing, so I don't think the relationship is supposed to be like visually what the story is telling me that this is not gonna go well. We are very different people. Which, you know, sometimes isn't a bad thing, but like... Oh, these kind of match. But like, you know, we had our very own place, you know, there are things that are like... Mr. Pig has been with us the whole time. We've had all our art books. Um, I no longer have a desk, which means that I no longer have my PC and my drawing tablet, which I would probably murder somebody over if I no longer was able to have those things. Um, the GameCube did make it though. The GameCube and we have two controllers for it. Uh, we have all of our games, which is nice. Our big thick books. We brought a beetle for some reason. Uh, all of our stuff, but it's like our little red bus made it. I like the little red bus. It makes me very happy to see the little red bus. But like in the old apartment when I was with people, everything seemed to be able to fit okay. And it kind of matched. This is the first one that I've seen that it's like a... This is like when I moved in with Babis. His is very much like this um, when I first moved in. Uh, which, you know, our relationship is going great, as you can tell, because, you know, we got married last year. But, uh, 
in video games. I've played quite a bit of, you know, video game. I played quite a bit of video games in my day. Uh, visually speaking, this is telling me that my space here is limited because I could not put my diploma up. That was the kicker for me, was my diploma has to be safe beneath here. There is no room on the walls for me to put it unless I take his stuff down, which I didn't even try that. Yeah, I can't, I can't take his stuff down. I can only like barely click on it. So my diploma does not have a place up in the house. Uh, my little postcard. Does my postcard have a place? So no, whoever, whoever this dude is, uh, yeah, I don't even know where I can even put this. Except for on the bed, currently. But clearly this is one of my, um, hey, funny pasta, thank you so much for the follow. This is clearly something that should have its own place. Oh wait, we could put the diploma right here above the, the toilet, you know? Uh, so that's gonna go there for now. But do, like, question is, do we even have a place for, like, this, this is a, this photograph is clearly a photograph of our friends and we're happy together. Does it have a place in this house? Yeah, he's not compromising. I, I mean, he kind of is because I am able to move some things around, but like, Wait, I have a laptop. Maybe that's why I don't have my PC. Okay, hold on. New developments here. Here, play with that for a little bit. Entertain yourself. All right, okay. Okay, getting better, getting better. Oh, it's a little version. It's a little tablet version. So fun fact, when I first started drawing, I had like a graphic, like a, you know, a third party, like it was a graphic tablet that came with like a Kodak photo set. Like this was not at all advertised to be any sort of like drawing tablet. It was like, you know, you can edit your photos with your pen. And uh, that was what I first drew on. And it was one of those where you didn't even have like screen to screen tracking. You had to pick up your pen if it like ran out of stroke room. And then I got my very first like Wacom Bamboo and my first like school laptop was blue. I was joking in the beginning that, you know, this person is me. You can live safely under the bed. You can live underneath there. The bed is safe. There we go all safe and sound and you all can get shoved up beneath there because I don't want to even look at you. Uh, I was joking like, you know, oh my god, this person is me. This person has an art degree. They went to school for art. They had a lot of like, you know, art heavy stuff. And it's very interesting to see what's making the trip each and every single time. Uh, so we'll wait for the, if there are mag, <gasps> rice cooker, let's go. If there are magnet, yes, soup pot. If there are magnets, we will be able to put our photos up. If we did not bring magnets, I don't, oh, we can. Okay, we'll move your picture up. Maybe, maybe this is me. Maybe this is me and him. I don't know. The knife. Oh, he already has a knife. So we're gonna put the knife in the tool box. We don't have any room in there anymore. We don't have any room in there. Oh, hold on. Can we put, let's put the pot next to there. Okay. What is this? That can't open. I can move that though. <gasps> Scrubby brush. Let's go. Oh, it's, <clears throat> okay, hold on. Trash can can't be there. Trash can is compromising the shower. There we go, let's put you there. Open the shower. There we go. That's not a little whiteboard for like, re <gasps> it might be right. Hold on, sir. It totally is. I like to have mine there though. So I can like write things down when I'm cooking for like recipes and stuff. <gasps> we do have our magnets. All right. So this photo, oh, magnets come with it. Duh. Okay. So we're going to put our photos on it. There we go. Little heart magnet. 
our toaster. Okay. And this. Okay, so we clearly have, you know, a lot of things to figure out what to do with. So, uh, fancy water bottle can go next to his fancy water bottle. Uh, French press can be moved. So we're going to try and put the water bottles together. French press is going to be moved over here because I'm going to use it more often. And then my little pot can go there. His coffee can be moved over as can the paper towel. Why is the paper towel so freaking high? Nobody can reach that. Cookie jar. Cookie jar going to go in there because I don't want to look at it. And then my electric kettle is going to go there. Uh... Do I have room for the strainer up here? I do not. Fair. You guys can get stacked. And actually, you are probably used every day, so we're gonna move you down here. There we go. I'm gonna put my strainer up here. Put the toaster. Not there. Can the toaster go up here? Yeah, the toaster can move there. My little mug right there. Pepper. It's yelling at me about the pepper being in the wrong place. So maybe it's like a paprika. It probably is red pepper for like paprika. Okay, can I organize this better? I cannot. But you know what? Why, why is your little French press thing? Oh wait, no, that's an espresso presser. Why isn't your little espresso presser like right? Nope, nope, never mind. It got mad at me for that. Okay. Cutting board and that can probably be fine where they are. <sighs> Kettle can move there. Can we get rid of anything? Well, I guess like some of like the baking and mixing is down in this drawer, so that can go down there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these down and put the wooden spoon and the spatula in here. And then the sugar, I'm going to move next to, nope, nope, you don't like that. But you do like that. I, sure, that's fine. All right, it is mad about the chickens. That's fine. Let's move them to the bed. And then it's mad about, it's mad about being the laptop being stored beneath the bed. Okay, can we move the laptop into our, we cannot, can the laptop be moved on the bed? It cannot, okay. The chicken's okay though. Can we move the CDs beneath the bed? No, we cannot. It's angry about that. All right. It's angry about the trash can and it's angry about the clippers. Okay. This is probably an easy fix. Let's put you in there. Done. Little trash can, where are you supposed to be? Can you be, nope, you're not in the kitchen. Can you be in the, nope, you're not supposed to be there. All right. You are clearly not meant to be on the floor somewhere. Or you are, and I'm just dumb. There we go. Okay, little chicks. But everything else in this room seems to be okay. Okay, let's assume that because this is kind of like, oh, can we put you there? Oh, we can, it's right next to the records. And now we just need a place for the white, the... Hey, there we go. Oddly enough, exactly where I used to work. From my couch. Hell yeah. I do like the way this room looks. You know, having little splashes of color in what was very neutral of a space ain't that bad, you know? He could have used a little color in his life. But, uh, yeah. I think my favorite room is definitely this one. This one's definitely a lot of fun. 
Oh, he has his own. Well, we're going to keep my little uh, green ones out of sight, out of mind, because I am not, I'm not dealing with that. New sticker! Feels so serious moving into his place. Yay! Achievable! Too cool. Unpacked 2010. Let's move on! 2012. Two years late. <gasps> Two years later. Oh, we just have a... We just have a bedroom and a bathroom. Wait, is this our old room? Because there's the dragon. I don't think that's what... Was this the room where we started? No, because that was a dorm, right? I don't know. But this feels oddly familiar. These are Karat... Is this our childhood home? What is this? I don't know. The, pl the plot thickens, as it were. Eh, because there's our boombox. There's all of our trophies. Our old sewing kit for when we were cosplaying. The beetle made it, thank god. Alright, little guy. Let's uh, get you a permanent home, quick. Alright, let's start. Yeah, I think this is our family. I think we might have moved back home. So, shocker, it didn't work out. Did I not call it? Couldn't cut it in the big city. Maybe it wasn't our fault. Yeah, because we still have all of our photographs. Our sketchbook. These weights plague me. So we're gonna go underneath the bed. Like, there's like, the, you know, faded stickers. Oh, we won an award for our art? All right. The big dragon book that I really liked. You know, we're gonna put the pottery bowl up here. We're gonna make room for the big dragon book. The big dragon series that I like. Yeah, what a turn. The boom box is back! Yeah, the OG boom box. Not quite the sleek silver. Oh. Nintendo! Let's go! The drawing tablet. Hell yeah. The laptop. We're gonna move this just a little bit closer. We're gonna move the photo a little bit back. Our markers. Our good markers. I wanna know what happened to get her back here. I don't, like, clearly Visually, what the story was telling me with that was maybe he wasn't, like, as... Yeah, because now I can put my diploma on the wall and be super proud of it. So maybe he wasn't supportive. Maybe he wasn't willing to compromise. Maybe he was a huge douchebag. Or maybe he was, like, super ready and willing and it just didn't work out. I mean, like, that's 100% a possibility, too. Important stuff beneath the bed. The ukulele. Oh god, where are you put the ukulele? And the, uke the ukulele has to go on a like a flat surface. Yeah, we've clearly though we've upgraded because we have a th uh, we have a 3DS, we got the boom box back, and we have the dragon. And an incense burner? Maybe? The chicken. The chicken and the chicks. Can this go on the wall? Yes, it can. I love putting things on the wall. Ooh, a knit sweater. Or, 
leggings of some kind. The photo album. Photo album's really important, so that's gonna live next to our... You know what? We're gonna put the stuffed animals all on the bed. Why? Because they deserve to be there. Alright, last box. Our ukulele book. We're gonna put it up there. We're gonna put it up there. Our eraser. Stuff pencils. Another notebook. Drawing? Can we move you down to put you up? We cannot. So where do you go? I guess there is fine for now. Uh, what is this? What is that? Oh, it's a game cartridge. Uh, or is it? I don't know. There's multiples of them. We stack them up here? And the old drawing book. Um, the old Tamagotchi. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do some slight rearranging. So the cassettes get moved. The Tamagotchi. So you probably should keep it out. Just so you're reminded to keep it alive. You know? I'm gonna put... Um, I don't want to put the sewing kit away. I can probably move some of these trophies a little bit. Give some more space. I'm gonna put the old sketchbooks. I'm assuming... They're, they've been with us for years. So I'm gonna put the old sketchbooks up there. Put the 3DS here. Put the art book. Also up there. I'm gonna put... I really want to know where you go. Because you can't really go anywhere. But you can probably just go there. And I don't know what this is supposed to be. Are you supposed to be like a sweater? Leggings? I don't know. You're gonna sit at the foot of the bed for now. Oh, little incense burner. You're gonna go... There we go. All right, bathroom. Let's go. Hairbrush. Yeah, this this feels very parents housey simply from this uh, sink alone. Like I grew up with these kinds of handles. We're back to having the matching uh, shampoo and conditioner. Our deodorant. And th yeah, this definitely feels parent household. Our little heart mug. Okay. Can we put the toothbrush in it? All right. Toothpaste. Maybe I was right. Maybe this is perfume. The nail kit. Behind the lotion. The straightener in its own drawer. Nail clippers. Tweezers. Razor in the shower. Here we go. Oh, okay. Can I? Hold on. I can't put you back, so give me just a second. I'm gonna move you over here. We're gonna move you into. Where'd you go? Move you into here. And I can't stack you. That's more medicine y. Body wash. More body wash? Anyway, it goes on the floor. Is this Tiger Bomb? That might be Tiger Balm. Medicine! 
again. It does not like being there. But it's okay with being there? Question mark? Alright. Now when is angry at me in the bedroom? This photograph. Really? Why is it bad about this photograph? The Novales, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, where is that supposed to go? All right, and are you supposed to go up here instead? Is that a photo of her and her ex? I think that was the one that went on the fridge. So yes, that would be a photo of her and her ex. So maybe that goes in the trash can. Do we have a trash can? Can we, f can we flush it? Can we put it down the drain? Can we just, yeah, we just forget about it. We put it away out of sight. Damn. We had a rough breakup. All right. Well, that puts me in a bit of a somber mood. But no matter. Cute bedroom. We can bounce back. It seems the pin is uh, going through his face. I did not notice that. Hold on. Oh, I, you can't see it now. But let's keep going. I believe you, 100%. Turkey! Alright, turkey sticker. This room used to feel bigger. Oh, that's depressing. That's really sad. Okay. 2013. Okay, so a year later. We got ourselves together, we moved back out. All right. Got some old furniture here. Ooh, I used to actually, uh, the TV that Bab and I used to have sat on one of these. So we got, oh, it's got a claw foot bathtub. Instant upgrade, 100%. Ditch his ass, we got a claw foot bathtub. Hell yeah. Outside seems pretty cute too. Oh, we have our own workspace again. Hell yeah. Can't beat discount furniture. I think that actually belonged to his parents before we uh, before we moved with it. And it used to house one of the TVs that uh, we used to play Xbox on. And then we got rid of it. I moved the Xbox into my office. And now we're here. All right. We got some beanbag furniture. Let's go. We can work with this. Oh, it's got that cute little like tile splash and like, oh, the really pretty wood. All right. Yeah, no. Ditch his ass. We're in a better spot. Our little Eiffel Tower. The leading tower of Pisa. All right. Favorite book number one. You have made it very far with us. Favorite book number two. The little red bus! All right, travel shelf. A windmill. All right, cute. Okay. This seems to, oh, the first big book. Okay, first big book is gonna go here. Other big book. Peter Pan, cute. Our GameCube controller. He did not keep the other controller. <gasps> we got a Wii! Hell yeah, all right. Wii goes there. Oh my God, is that meant to be Wii Sports? Hell yeah. That's an old GameCube game. That's also an old GameCube game. Third old GameCube game. Do we have a three copies of the same GameCube game? All right, for a small chickadee, let's go. On the bed, boom. First box, done. Second box. Sing. Oh, this is a, um, oh my goodness. Is it a, it's a charm. Yeah, that, that's the, uh, 
Oh my god, what is it? It's really pretty. And I'm surprised how I can just hang on the brick like that. The ukulele! I did not want to keep it. Oh! It's got its own stand now! Alright, ukulele! Sure, now you've become more of a like a like a like a proper piece of furniture. Music book. And one last GameCube game or sure, video game. It it is generic video game. So we're gonna put the first separation of books by the leaning tower of pizza. I said pizza. The D20 is gonna go in front of the TV, because it's a memento. We painted our mini! Oh my god. We did things for us, chat. Our art books. That looks slightly terrifying. That's a spooky book. Another game. And I guess another game? I'm going to assume that's a different game. Next level D and D. Yeah, this girl's committed to the ukulele. Listen, you find something that you love, don't give it up. Uh, video game? Or DVD? DVD? Video game. Uh, it's gonna go, it's gonna be in the questionable spot right now. These seem like DVDs. So we're on a little DVD collection going on here. Are you supposed to be a... Are you a VCR? Hell yeah. The big question is... I feel like that's still a DVD. So we're gonna start, sorry, Little Red Bus, and you are gonna start, we're gonna start stacking DVDs. And instead we're gonna save this space down here. Oh, nope, didn't wanna close that. All right. That box, done. Is this a portable, portable speaker? Oh, our big thick dragon book, let's go. All right, big thick dragon book gets its own special place over here. So we obviously love this book series. And we it, this has been with us since like the D&D move out college age. The 3DS. Let's go! And 3DS cartridges, I guess? So that's kind of game related. So you guys are gonna go there. There we go. The photo album! Oh my, yes. This photo album has also been with us since the very beginning. This photo album is super important. This photo album is going to go on our dresser. Oh, a little waste basket. A little wicker waste basket right next to the outlet. Let's go. That's fine. Okay, little ukulele. I kind of feel bad that I've been like bad mouthing you this entire time. I can't move any of the furniture proper. But are you tall enough that you can be... You are. You are tall enough that you can be placed up at the top shelf. Let's go. All right. We're going to need to find a special place for Red Bus. Our GameCube is going to be somewhere in this box. How about Little Red Bus goes next to the Big Dragon books? An umbrella. An um Okay. Oh, it's an umbrella. Okay. That's not a wicker basket. That's an umbrella stand. And a cane. And a lamp. 
lamp can't fit, that's fine. 3DS, sorry to say, gotta come off. Alright, lamp, never mind. 3DS, go back on. Does the lamp go in the office? Does the lamp go on our... Nope, lamp can't go on our... This lamp's gonna go in the office. Our dragon! Immediate... Oop. On the bed with you. Plushy frog. I wish the bedroom wasn't so far for these little guys. Chicken! Okay, this is what's all gonna be the stuffed animals, and I'm gonna have a hell of a time getting everybody sorted on the bed. It's a- oh my god, this reminds me of the little guy from Paper Mario. Uh, the little Koopa kid that had just hatched out of his shell and was super mad at you all the time. I don't remember what his name was. But I remember he was like a mini boss after every single level you beat. And he would just be like progressively angrier and angrier. So many chickens! They have a whole family! We collected them all! Done. Box done! All right, on to the claw foot bathtub. Let's go. Okay. Um, this is a hand towel, so we're gonna go there first. A hairbrush, hair straightener. There you go. This seems like medicine. Also medicine. Razor. Oh, it's got one of those tile shelf indents. Hell yeah. Perfume, toothbrush, toothpaste, and the cup. Let's go. Soap, toilet paper. Oh, probably should put something on a roll to start with. Here we go. Nail bag. Extra TP. Scale. There we go. Some air freshener. Mouthwash. Little trash can. All of our washy stuff. Cold compress, it looks like. Deodorant. Um, vitamin D, maybe? That's a pretty full lower shelf, so we're gonna have to start getting into some of this other shelf space. Tiger Balm. Nail clippers. A tweezers. A loofah! Okay. Mm. Can we put something else? Can we make room in one of these. Can you fit in there? No, you can't. Hmm. Okay, can... You know what, if these are pills, it also probably can be like, you know, don't forget them to take them once a day kind of thing. So having them out somewhere in the open probably isn't a bad idea. There we go. All right, let's work on the bedroom next. Let's see what kind of shelf space for- Oh, it's one of the fancy sliding ones. All right, let's start. Undies. Well, I guess this works as best as anything. Uh, 
a notebook. I can put you there for now. More undies. Okay, does one of these have... Oh, these are PJs. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, do you... I don't know what that is. Uh, it's gonna go here. But see, do we have hangers? Can I figure out what this is if I hang it? No, I think there... Are they leg warmers, maybe? All right, pretty skirt with a bow on it. Don't know what this is. Oh, a super frilly skirt. Oh, hang on. Gotta close that. All right, hang or er, fold the nice cardigan. And we're gonna actually move the skirt. Can I click on the skirt? Can I move it down? Alright, we're gonna leave it there for now. And then we're gonna move the skirts over here. We're gonna hang you. We're gonna hang you. Slightly closer together. Alright, our nice pair of heels. This really pretty jumper. Our other heel. No, please, please, thank you. Is that a hot water bottle for tummy? Oh, you know what? You're probably right. I never had a hot water bottle growing up. But that is probably what it is for tummy aches. Hell yeah, our old little MP3 player doesn't have room on the thing, so it's going to go in the drawer. Picture of our family? Yes. Gorgon's Embrace, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Oh my god, can I lock? I can! Yes! We're gonna put. Okay, is it. Let's do every other to see how much we have first. Cute purple bra. Let's put that on. Nope. Cl cl close, close, close. Cl 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 thank you. Put you there. Put you there. The rubber on the inside and I have a vest on the skin for safety. Yeah, that sounds a lot safer than like using like a regular heating pad because every time I use mine, my skin gets super like upset. Cute purple dress. Yoga mat underneath the bed. Out of sight, out of mind. Although I do like yoga. A nice shirt. <gasps> Mr. Pig! Mr. Pig made it! Another hanger. Ooh, a pretty sports jacket. Pink skirt goes on the pink hanger. Ooh, that's a really pretty top. I like that a lot. Ooh, what a fun skirt. We don't have any more skirt hangers though, so we're gonna put that there. Uh, do we have any more? Yes, we do. We have. Ooh. Time to fold them jeans. Actually, we're gonna put that nice shirt on top and put the hot water bottle here. Okay. We got another hanger out. It's our nice skirt. There's that box. And then, last box, let's go. Another hanger. Another hanger. Pretty white blouse. A uh, tennis shoe. Nope. Don't want to go in there. 
one of our loafers. You know, this probably, I don't know what this is, but we're gonna put our heels back here. We're gonna put our tennies here. We're gonna keep the nice things folded and separate. Second loaf. Purse. Folded nice tea. Undies. Undies. A nice pair of pants. Oh, almost opened that up without closing the door. Blue jeans. Jesus, going just back and forth. Pajama. Er, pajamas. Aha. Pajamas. Aha. Rainbow. Cute. All right, that drawer is done. And we do have another set of pajamas right here. Boom. All right, there's our bedroom. And it looks like we only have three candles. So I'm gonna put a candle in this, or I can't, or I can, I can. I'm gonna put that here and I'm gonna put you here. So they're like nice and evenly spaced with each other. Hell yeah. All right, let's decorate our office. Put that sucker right there on the wall where it belongs. Oh, oh, we have two little lamps. Okay. Important filing box right there. Oh wait, no, important filing box probably should go in there. All of our good pens. Oh, look how many pens we have now. Ooh, earphones, hell yeah. Sketchbook or notebook? The same sketchbook we've had for years and years and years. And a nice moleskin. There's that sword book that we liked a lot. Easel. Ooh, one of those little clacky clack thingies. Ooh, we got one of these. Question is, can we put anything inside of them? Waste basket. Stress bowl. A blanket, maybe? Is this a towel? Hang on. Yeah, because it goes with the stuff in the bedroom. Bedroom, bathroom. Okay, little cactus. You're gonna get enough sun right there. One of our other art books. Art book. Art book. More art book. One of our old sketchbooks. You know, I'm gonna keep the moleskin itself. Over here on the desk. Because the others kind of feel like a sort of collection that's going. Don't know what that is. Oh! Hang on. Let's do that. That's cute. Laptop. Drawing tablet. Typeface book. Don't know. Another book. Pens, next to the nice pens, an eraser. Can I open you? No, I cannot, but I'm going to assume it's something that can have like a lot of things in them, assumedly. Whale friends, yeah. I don't know what they are. Wait. 
Did we make a character out of our pig growing up? And these are all like the character turnarounds? That's so cool! I really wish that's- oh, shoot, we have a- We have a cool lava lamp. Oh, we got our own printer? Which way's the front? Which way's the front? Help me. That way. Okay, we're good. What is this? Is this a scanner? May? What, what is this? I don't know what this- this looks like a secondary computer? Well, it's got like the little thing on the side. I- I think it's a scanner. So we're scanning our art. Oh. <laughs> the box of cables! That's too real! Okay, software. Business cards. The Wi-Fi router. Cannot forget little wall clock. Photos. More photos. Photos on the wall. Can't have enough. Oh! Oh! Oh no! That's our beetle pet, wasn't it? And he's dead! But he's happy! Maybe because he lived a long and happy beetle. I don't know how long Hercules beetles live for. Or whatever he's meant to be. But um... That's the happiest ending I could think for him. So I'm just going to assume that that's uh, the story there. Oh, that's really pretty. Do I want to go have that? No, I, I like I like kind of like the semi like square shape we have going on there. Our ballerina girl. Maybe that's us. I don't know. Black cats. <gasps> and the D and D picture. Hell yeah! So we kept this stuff the entire time. We just haven't put it up. It looks like. All right. What an office space. Can I put... No, I can't put you on there. I can't move the table. Well, I'm gonna put the trash can, like, nice and out of the way underneath. All right, yeah, that... Can I stack these? I can't! And I'm gonna move you here, since I am more of a digital artist. Here we go. There we go. Hell yeah! Kitchen time! Let's do it! My rice cooker! What is this? Is that the garbage disposal? Spoons! Spoons! Knives! Forks! Measuring cup. That's it. Measuring cup for- I guess I'm gonna put you here for like easy access to baking. You also look like your glass. <gasps> glass bowl? Let's go. <gasps> Did we steal his expensive coffee when we broke up? I know it's been like years. Maybe maybe we found a good taste in it. Or maybe we got some things. Scrubby brush. Keep yourself clean. Well, is there a space? For yeah, I'm gonna actually put the rice cooker in here. Big box done. Coasters? Coasters. Measuring cups. And a delightfully fun color. Soy sauce? Well, soy sauce is a condiment that I want close by, so I'm gonna put on a table. Uh, wax paper. Rolling pin. Cookie cutters. So we got into baking! Olive oil. Don't know what that is. 
a cup. Just realized I don't really have any like shelf space or like upper cabinets. We will get to that when we get to that though. All right, close you, open you. We're gonna put the other pot in here. The pan, sure, I, I guess we can store it on top of, yeah, that's fine. Bowl, bowl, another bowl. Cookie jar. A cookie jar can probably go on top of the fridge. Yes. Yay. Cutting board. There we go. Magnets. Little whiteboard. We're going to put our friends. There we go. Three equals. Oh, hold on. There we go. The three of them equaled love. We're going to put our stripey mug collection. Nope, not there. Let's not put sugar over there. Well, uh, I guess it did yell at me last time. I did try and put sugar as not like a condiment over here. So maybe I'll put it with the soy sauce. As well as the red pepper. And the pepper itself. A little candle. That's cute. Water bottle. Another... Something? A little timer. It's a chicken. The good knife can go here. Yeah, I think these are just spices. So hold on. I'm gonna try and put the spices like up here. We just have a whole bunch of magnets, don't we? All right, getting down to the final boxes. All right, plates. Okay, big plate. All right, I'm gonna do some rearranging. Honestly, you can get like really zen in this, just kind of like figuring out where everything goes. Like this tray, for instance. I guess the baking sheet can go on the drawer. Roll the toilet paper. And by toilet paper, I mean paper towels. Salt. Another bowl. The electric kettle. All right, I'm gonna move some things around. The electric kettle probably should be next to. That seems like a dangerous idea. That's the best place I can, no, can you? Okay, I clearly have to do some space making here. Cause I cannot justify that, uh, that microwave going anywhere else. Sorry, little egg timer. Can you go on? You can go on there. Like right in the middle. There we go. It's a bit tight, but we'll make it work. We'll put you on top of there. Cutting board, I think, would be okay there. 
One spoon. Soap. A dish soap. Sponge. Extra sponges. Until we need it, it's gonna go on top of the fridge. A menorah. Can you go in the windowsill? Yes, you can. It's awful high though. Oh wait, hold on. Can you not do this? No, you cannot do that. You did not belong on top of there. Well, no, let's go ahead and put it on the table. I feel like we're about to celebrate. with the candles. Hot pot, let's go! Oh, can you not be moved down there? Hold on. Can you go all the way up? All the way back, please? Timer, another baking tray. There we go, kitchen is complete. Oh, the little egg timer is angry. There we go! Everything now has its space. Everything seemed to be pretty okay except for that little timer. I do like the office though. So I think that's going to be our photo for this time. Phoenix! Very symbolic. Making this my art space. Hell yeah! Let's go! Art space! Achievement of all unlocked. Twenty fifteen. Oh, we're still in the same- <gasps> Guys, I think someone moved in with us! And they like plants! <laughs> Look at these little guys! We got a computer! There's two places at the- <gasps> Somebody moved in with us! All right. Okay, all of your plants. Okay, succulents need light and dryness. So you guys go there. This is also a succulent. So you're gonna go here. What is this? This is, is this? Shuttle box of a ticket? Don't know. An award of some kind? That looks like a film reel. That's the sound of music. So maybe they're also super into movies? move these guys a little bit more in a yeah it looks like they're super into movies hence the shadow box movie ticket their laptop all right a pillow another pillow nice colors a giant throw Go to the bed. Oh, they have games too! Let's go! Oh, these are DVDs. Sorry, these are Blu-rays. So your special Blu-rays, you get the top shelf for your Blu-rays. 
Your umbrella? That's a dragon. That's cool. That's a spooky book. That looks like the Handmaid's Tale. Exposure! Or for exposure! Wow, that hits deep. Nuclear narwhals. Okay, something to water the plants with. A little spritzer for the succulents. Alright, I'll move the shadow box. Like, uh, like, shadow box probably be nice to like act as the bookends to the DVDs, which I'm 90% sure there's gonna be more of. Oh, it's a little boat! Alright, you go there. I. A scroll of some kind? Don't know what that is. Coaster? Coaster? Another movie? Let's zoom out just a little bit so you can get movie. Another. I love the coasters. So many movies! <laughs> I guess so. The story that I have- oh, he's cool. The story that I have in my head is... We are trusted enough to unpack the things that are special to them, where that was not given to us as an option when we moved into What's-His-Face's place. So, like, th this seems like it's the good relationship that we're in now. I don't want to move those two cute little birds, but I think I'm going to have- You know, the birds are going to go... Here. On the coffee table. And one more coaster. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and see if I can't make space for some of these. So actually, he can probably go... Oh, he's kind of behind everything. He can go up here. He looks really cool there. DVDs, next to the movies, the Eiffel Tower, our little red bus. I don't know what this is still. But there we go, we can do that. I'm gonna move our little birds on top of. Hello, little bird. There we go. There we go. You can go here. Makeup brushes. Heck yeah. Some more skin's care stuff. Ooh, we're gonna have to like really make some space here. So we don't even have a straightener anymore. Their toothbrush with red bristles. Interesting. Makeup, makeup, facial cream, facial cream. Here, facial, here, makeup, for the time being, face cream is going to go in with like to take care of your body stuff unless the f uh, fun cosmetic stuff oh no hang on I want to make space for your stuff so the razor is gonna go let's see where can the razor go can... that can open hell yeah okay we actually do have something that can open that way though All right, little towel for her. Big towel. Another big towel. 
fuzzy rug. Pink loofah. Tissues. All right, moving you over here. There we go. Comb. I mean, that's still kind of like medicine. All right, so we just gotta find a place for the comb. Ooh, really quickly. I don't want like I don't like it being there. So the comb can go next to the brush. Or I think the comb can go in here. There we go. Perfume can probably go in there as well since we're not going to use that often. I'm going to move some of these things in a more organized position. doesn't want to fit anywhere nicely so that'll do for now all right oh we want to put the this one over there we're gonna put this here and center you all right time to unpack the bed cute lamp pajamas leggings they have a tiger Achievable! I assume? Yeah, there it goes. Fuzzy friends. Put the tiger and pig side by side. Yes. All right. Boots. 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 Hanger. Cute dress, shorts, bra, another hanger, uh, I'm guessing we can put the leggings at the top. <gasps> Long dog! A hat. Hmm. Ooh. We have to find room for those plants. All right. Oh, no, come back. Ooh, you have matching. You have really fun ones! A nightgown? Night nightgown. Nightgown. Another nightgown? Alright, I'm gonna put the hot water bottle up here, and I'm gonna move her nightgowns next to my pajamas. Alright. You know, we're just gonna put the, uh, the t-shirts next to each other. Can I put the hat on the dog? No, I cannot. All right, can I move some stuff around? Can I move this? Mm. Another hanger. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna have to move some things. So a hanger on this side. So many hangers. Uh, walkie? Okay, let's put that by the bed. <gasps> we have walkie talkies. Okay. That's cute. of these are such cute tops. <gasps> I love that coat. 
Ooh, what is like a jewelry box? Okay. We're gonna have to make some room here. Cause this is I'm gonna move. Okay, the laptop seems to be okay moving in there. The hot water bottle. Can you be moved? No, you can't you can okay, you can move there. But these seem too long to... So I'm gonna try and put some of the dresses to make room for some of the shorter clothes here up at the front. Like some of these shorter blouses. And we can put that big coat there in the back. There we go. That seems to fit in that a lot nicer. Go. Secret notebook. Or headphones. Incense sticks, maybe? <gasps> yep, incense burner right here. Nice. Uh, sandal. Some really cute boots. My heels got pushed out the way. All right, we're gonna put our shoes beneath the bed. succulents can you guys go up here yes you can backpack a little notepad and a pen all right your walkie there we go another hanger do I have any space for another hanger? I mean, I suppose I do. So, getting to be a pretty full closet. Alright, more leggings. back here. Alright, a sweater. So that's gonna go there. Ooh, really pretty leggings. Shorts. Why can't I open the right one? That box, all right. Still don't know a great place for the laptop though. Although, 
There we go. My office, they have not moved into. It seems that they, uh, you're either that or that belongs to them. Or just have, like, you know, a good space. Like, this is your space. All right. All the spices got moved. Okay, we're gonna put the plants there. Oh, another achievable. What we get? Green thumb. Found a place for every plant. Hell yeah. All right, mug collection, let's go. A cheese grater. Oh, and my alarm. Hello. Let's turn you off. The jet! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. We're just unpacking. We got ourselves a juicer. A... What is this? A giant thing of soy sauce? The industrial soy sauce size? Ooh, this is where it becomes difficult is rearranging the kitchen that everybody's items fit. Okay. Towels can stack though. So the towels are actually gonna go into the towel drawer. There we go. Right next to the utensils. Oh, hello. Neapolitan rhyme, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in everybody. We're just doing some unpacking. We, uh, this story has been quite a ride and just the amount of storytelling done by just like simple, uh, it, it's just really powerful how much you can tell a story through, uh, very subtle things. Like this whole story was, we got our own place, we moved out, out of college and uh, probably moved in with our friends after we got our own little like tiny place uh, moved out of our friend's apartment moved into a dude's apartment where he didn't really let us have our own space to put things we broke up with him as we should have because he kind of felt like a douchebag even though I've never seen him in my entire life and then now, uh, we moved into this little studio apartment and was able to put up all of the stuff that was important to us. And now, uh, we have a girl moving in. Oh, it's, it's a, it's, it's, it's a bow steamer. So, yeah, all that packed into just a little unpacking game. It's incredible. This has actually been a wonderful wonderful joyous ride oh yeah this the game's story feels like cohesive kind of sad at times um but like we had to move back into our parents place for a little bit we had to redecorate our childhood home to make like all of our like adult stuff fit and like there's there's stuff that's like been with you for the entire time, like your favorite book series and um, your art tablet. Like you got to make uh, your office. And I'm guessing you wanted to become like an artist and uh, maybe that dream was stifled with the one dude and you couldn't really like, you know, you didn't even have an office space. Like you were forced to put all of your art stuff in the living room. Uh, but the little piggy's been with us the whole time and now the girl who has moved in has a little tiger and there was an achievement to put them together. Um, the photo album has been super important. We have a claw foot bathtub. We've already like, you know, we're living the good life now. But uh, we're just unpacking in the kitchen, which seems to be our last thing that we have left to do. All right, they have a rice cooker. Like one of those like super good rice cookers that replaced our little uh, crock pot. 
All right. I don't know where I can put the little fish. Is it a... I don't know where the... <laughs> Tiny fish thing. I don't know what you are. Johnny, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good time. Staying cozy on this Friday night. Can I put you... You don't like to be up there. Can you be up here? No, you don't like to be up here. You feel like a sushi boat of some kind. Or like a boat of serving. So we're gonna go ahead and have that be where you live right now. And then something else was angry in here. Oh, this. I don't know what this is meant to be. It's a wall hanging! Alright, Antihero Season 2. We're fans. And then something was mad in the bedroom. Do not like the hot water bottle being there, and we do not like the journal being beneath the pillow. But we're okay with the hot water bottle being on the bed. All right. <laughs> you know what? Little pup, you can have that. Uh, but I really, really like this room right here. So this is going to be our photograph that we take for this one. Oh, look, it's such a happy sticker. So much more cozy now feels like a home. Yes. Home is where people love you. Unpacked 20. Yeah, so going back, we uh, we moved into our college dorm. And then we moved into our first studio apartment by ourselves. And then us and a bunch of friends moved in with each other, like a kind of like a, a common house. Uh, where you just like, you know, all of your friends either go in on, on a house or an apartment to rent. Um, I also didn't notice this, but it appears to be that entire thing. Oh, it's minis. I was like, that entire thing down there looks like a bunch of pet rocks. Um, and then we moved in with this dude in the city who like, this was the best room in the house. And even then, like half of this stuff isn't even ours. And, uh... Yeah, it, it was basically like, it didn't fit. It, it was forced to fit, you know, symbolic, metaphorical. Um, and then we moved in with our parents after we broke up, um, which was interesting when we unpacked because we actually had a photo of the boyfriend who we then just put away in that uh, white dresser and just forgot about it. And then we moved out of our parents' place a year later. We got our own art studio. And then now we're here. Someone moved in with us and they seem like a lovely person. So let's see where this takes us. Now it's 2018. Oh my God, do we have a house? Yeah, we, we broke up with him, got our boom box back and upgraded to a DS and a clawfoot bathtub. Net positive, 100%. All right, so we have an entry foyer. We do not have a clawfoot bathtub. We have downgraded. Interesting parition though. It's like a half glass thing, but you're gonna get the rest of your... Oh, this, this is, who designed this? This is gonna get water everywhere. And then we've got a walk-in closet. Hell yeah, let's go. That's a really pretty color scheme for that bed. And corner shelves, let's go! Oh! And a nursery! We're unpacking for a baby! Other bathroom? And my office! I get to keep my off- And our partner has a garden in the back! Our kitchen? Or I guess our dining table because this would be our kitchen, right? Let's go! Also, I love how they differentiate between cold and hot water. <laughs> like, it's incredibly blatant. Oh my gosh, and our common area living room. Oh, we have a lot to unpack here, but let's go! Boots! The pink boots make a return! Put your boots 
in the shoe space. It's, e it's either sandal weather or it's boot weather. It's not one or the other. Pick one and stick with it. All right, umbrella. Umbrella. And the umbrella wicker basket. Which the umbrella's going. All right, we're two for sandal weather, one for boot weather. Uh, what is, is this a, this is a towel of some kind. Can't, this is probably a bathroom towel that was used to wrap everything up. Did you and your partner use two different moving companies even though you were living together? I think that's kind of the, like, the brown boxes were mine ever since the very beginning. And then when she moved in, she used the white boxes. And I think it's because of those boxes are now together that it's implied that we're still together. And plus I just unpacked her shoes. So I think it's just a visual way to basically s Oh, goodness, M Mount. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, welcome on in. We're just unpacking a house. Hello, everyone. Welcome on in. Boots are too tall. Oh, we got a little house to go with a little windmill. And a little elephant. Yeah. I do enjoy some cozy vibes. Uh, but uh, tonight especially, since it's so cold outside. And it's kind of one of those evenings where you just kind of want to curl up, you know? Our Eiffel Tower made- So this is like a little travel shelf that we've made together. Uh, but now going back to what I was saying, um, the fact that the white box for her and the brown box for us has been synonymous throughout the two times we moved together. Like I said, it's definitely a nice visual way to say that, like, unlike, you know, douchebag bro, we are still together and we are in this together. Visual storytelling, 100%, really good. It's freezing, it's like two degrees where I am, or negative two. I haven't checked how cold it is. I know it's colder than normal where it's supposed to be for us, but um, yeah. <laughs> We're inside cozy and warm, or at least I hope so. Uh, If not, grab another hot drink, grab an additional blanket and cozy up because we are we got a lot of rooms to unpack. So we just finished the entry foyer. Can I make this spaced? Oh, you're going to be... Oh, you're going to do this to me. These are evenly spaced, but you two are not. Mmm. Mmm. All right. That... Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna politely ignore that. So next, I think we're gonna hit up the bathroom. Uh, little plants. Do we have a space for you where there's a window? This might be our best bet because there's no way you're surviving in a bathroom unless you're like eucalyptus. All right, toothbrush. Oh, look at that, we have our own washer dryer unit. In, in unit, brush, a toothpaste. Where's our little cup? Ooh, our makeup brush. Can our makeup, do we want to use this for medicine or do we want to, we'll use this for makeup up here. Do they get their own cup or? Where's our cup? All right. Uh, this is more like facial cream, I think. Just started our Stardew Valley. Is it your first time playing Stardew Valley? Because uh, if it is, you are in for an absolute treat. There are times where I get completely like it's bad. It is one of those games where you can get sucked in and play for weeks on end. All right, big box stuff goes down there. All right, it looks like we have traded the heart cup for this little cup right here, which is fine. I'm willing to compromise. All right, tweezers. 
That's their comb. Our brush. The soap. The hair straightener, which will probably be able to put the tweezers in next to you as well. Let's go! Again, another great stylistic choice that shampoo and conditioner makes. No heart. Yeah, I was looking for our little heart cup. I like that heart cup's been with us since the very beginning. It even got, uh, maybe it got like, it was chipped after our move in with the one dude. So like maybe it was about time that we got a new one. And this does seem to kind of have the same font as that one series that we liked. First time on stream though. I got to meet you from the raid train by cat girl next door. Nice. Well, welcome on in. Very happy to have you here. But oh yeah, uh, enjoy Stardew again. Because it is, oh, it is such a lovely trip. Wait, hold on. You two match. You do not. Fool me. Oh, hi, Eiffel Tower. Wait, can we put the Eiffel Tower down? In... Oh my god, there are so many rooms. Eiffel Tower can fit on the travel shelf. It is a little snug. Until stated otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and just let him live there like that. And uh, we'll see if we can't find another. Because I have been using them as bookends and they have been very nice that way. A duck. Uh... What is this? I don't know, but it's bulky, so it's gonna go beneath the sink. Tiny towel goes in the back. Our nail. Um, our nail bag. I'm, I'm okay with putting our nail bag like right here. Oh, is this their nail bag? I don't know. We've had the same nail bag for a while. Deodorant. A deodorant. Big fluffy towel. That's hers. I know for a fact. Uh, vitamin D. We're going to put right here so you remember to take it. More medicine. Medicine. More face cream? Question mark. Uh, Band-aids. Don't know what this actually seems like more medicine. So I'm going to put them down in the medicines. Tissues for the back of the toilet. A uh, little trash can. Nice and hidden. I'm a basic Abigail girly though. Abigail's great. I can never really take her seriously ever since the whole, uh, you know, she eats rocks thing. But I think Abigail is my favorite girl. Ooh, which one? Okay. Oriented it the right way and then put it in front of the bathtub. Ooh. Okay. Toilet scrubber, let's go! Dirt, let's go! Because she gardens a whole lot. Like, plants are her thing. First aid kit. Lufa, let's go! Big fluffy towel. John, oh, a hamper. Uh, okay, where do we want to put the hamper? Hamper is gonna have to take a brief second to like figure out its life. Cause we're gonna move this box and we're gonna unpack these. The other loofah! All right, more body wash. More body wash that doesn't, okay. This is going to be a shelf side body wash. Uh, razor. That's a precarious place. Don't want the kid to get that. Put it right there. And more boxes. And more boxes. Uh, this feels like detergent. Yep, detergent. Detergent! Tums from when you're tummy hort. Lotion. Uh, I think 
actually gonna put the lotion here. Uh, no, lotion on the bottom shelf. Cause it feels more like that like medicinal lotion, you know? And the bug. And then the tiny hand towel. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold, hold the phone. You don't feel like you go here. You feel like you're going to be that washcloth because you two match. But what we're gonna do is we're going to put you down there and we're gonna put you up here. So you have the towels and then you have like the hand towels. I want to like Penny, but she's just so boring compared to literally, literally everybody else. Yeah, I can kind of see that. I don't really lean one way or the other too much with people. All right, hold on. Now we have a bit of a conundrum. Can I actually put... Nope, you don't move. I about to say, can I use the other bathroom mirror as a storage space? Red hands towel. Okay, now I'm getting confused on where all these towels are supposed to go. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone again. Big, thick, fluffy towel. A whole bunch of little red hand towels. They're supposed to go somewhere in here. I know that because why else would these guys match? Storm in the bathtub. But where else would they go? I guess you can put like the washcloths up here. All right. Basket can go there. Hamper. Is that too intrusive? Okay, hold on. I'm going to actually move some of the face creams in here. I'm going to move the nail kit. Because this is Tiger Balm, this is medicine, so you're gonna go down there. You're more cleaning supplies than anything, and you're more Febreze. First aid, Toms are gonna go in the cabinet. There we go. Oh yeah, all the character models in Stardew Valley are adorable. Can I put the vitamin D in here? Yes, I can. Okay, that feels... This feels okay. I'm not sure what to do with the hamper, though. And the fact that I only have pink towels in here instead of the purple towels... Can I put anything on top of that? Hold on. I can! But I don't want to. Everything else seems pretty okay where it is right now. All right. Um... I'm cool with this. We'll kind of put a we'll, we'll put a pause on the hamper for now. <laughs> Except for Morris, all my homies hate Jojico. I have never done a Jojo run because I just feel so bad. Just in general about that whole plot line, like yeah, let's destroy one of the last bastions of like small town community there is for corporate greed. Let's go. Closet time. <gasps> a straw hat. A hanger. A shirt. A hanger. A hanger. Folded shirt. Fold. We've kept the same D&D &D shirt. Let's go. Ooh, cute skirt. Okay, so we're gonna put like some of the clothes over here. You know what we're gonna do? Okay. We're gonna put the hang- Oh, hi. Okay, I didn't mean to pick up just you. We're gonna put like the tops up here. And we're gonna put the bottoms right there. So let's try and get all the hangers. <gasps> what is this? It's like a little keepsake box. That's the first time I've seen that box. Jeans. Leggings! Alright, here's her hat. 
you know what? She might, she was super into movies and like she had a whole bunch of like script writing stuff. So it makes me wonder if she worked on that show that she really likes. Yeah, anti-hero. Cause she has the hat, she has the shirt. That very well could be the case. Pincushion. Oh, you know what? We're probably going to use this as a cosplay table. And we're going to get back into cosplay. Did we keep our sewing machine from our parents' house? It's a, oh, that's a vanity. All right. All right. I'm going to start putting some things on hangers. Ooh, can that not go? Can you only get... Oh, you can't be on a hanger. You have to be folded. Cardigan. Undies. More undies. Another hanger. Okay. Y'all, I'm running out. You almost like have to fold those dresses. Unless they're like, well, even down here. The Jojo path just seems like a three or fourth playthrough thing for people who do not like holding on to very specific things for world unlock. That is true. All right, so we are definitely folding all of our dresses. Now the question is, is this her cosplay table? So I'm gonna start making some space here. So here's our skirt, here's a nice shirt. Uh, I'm gonna put, move that over here. I'm gonna open this box. I'm gonna hang this blouse, more undies. Cause I don't know if I want to stack, like put the like undergarments over here, or if like I want to put them in the drawers right here. Cause I still don't know what else we're going to pack here. This is obviously going to be some kind of like usable table. I do like the little rainbow underwear when she broke up with the dude. And that's like one of the things that she got. All right, this seems like it's the last or like one of the last hangers. I lied. Okay, so we can hang these dresses. We're just hanging them on the lower level. All right. Can we hang the sweater? Devious, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well this cozy Friday night. We're just doing some unpacking. All of these are so cute. I wish I had a sense of style. All right, that was another top. This was another top. This was a dress. There we go. Devlor Cafe, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Ooh, sports bra. Hell yeah. It looks very supportive. Ooh, big backpack. Maybe we actually did do some traveling. I gotta raid and run, but love the cozy vibes. Thank you for the stream. Well, thank you for stopping by. Have a good one. I'm getting inundated with underwear. There we go. Yeah, it looks like we did do some traveling, like some legitimate, uh, you might have to move this skirt to move this back over here. You know, real life struggles of owning something like that. 
Because you gotta make space for the things on the ground. <gasps> pajamas! Silk pajamas! Big box moved. Okay, I think I am going to go ahead and put these in the drawer. These are folded, so I'm not sure what they want me to do with those. Maybe these are socks. I don't know. But we are going to go ahead and put these over here. little folded ones down here. There we go. And then we have all these pants. I have this cardigan that still will- oh, it will let me hang it, but over here. And then this is her special shirt. So we're gonna fold it there. Were these jammies? I don't remember what these were. That was a dress. Okay. Can you make fun of my best friend who made me do his homework? If it helps, his name is Christian. Hey, Christian! Yo! What's the deal with that? Making other people do your homework? I'm not very good at making fun of people. I apologize. But um, hopefully that sufficed. Just me being angry. <gasps> matching bottom and matching top. Hell yeah. Ooh, they're, oh, they're matching together. So I can take this in one of two ways. Either he was really smart or she was really smart or they were really smart to have you agree to do their homework. Or, you know, they're not going to learn anything from this and they are going to be the ones with egg on their face. Sports bra, let's go! Polka dot, oh, nope, that's all taken care of. Polka dots, let's go! <laughs> Big coat! Do I have space for big coat? I don't think I have space for big coat. Hold on. We're going to move you closer. Move you down. Move you down. Put big coat here. All right. Vanity. What was this again? Okay. Can we... Hmm. We're going to have to be smart about this space. I'm gonna put the PJs in the PJ drawer. Here we go. I'm gonna put, these are jeans. I'm gonna put the nightgown. Oh wait, where did my pajama drawer go? Those are bras. These are also bras. Jammies, nightgown. What were you? I think you're also, you were a dress, weren't you? Sports bras, working out, going up here. I don't know what you were. So I'm going to try to put you on a hanger and see what that do. Cause maybe we can put some of the shorter stuff up here. these down. And then can I try and hang you on this? You have space. Oh, little sewing kit. 
Yeah, there we go. It, it was a dress. All right, perfume. Put the vanity thing right here. Put the mirror up. We're going to move the hat. So it looks like we kept a couple of our fun little graphic tees. Sewing kit. All right. And I guess we can put a lot of our leggings and jeans, like... Like, leggings can easily go here. Jeans. Perfume. Athletic shorts. Can kind of go next to the leggings. More leggings. A safe. More leggings! Hang on. I feel like these can probably go in with the sports stuff and we can just pile on our leggings over here. What were these? these? I think these were also... These were shorts, weren't they? Yes, they were. All right. I said, I don't know what this little box is. I'm very interested in it. All right, to the bedroom. All right, you've got a very pretty plant. I love when plants sit on corner shelves. So let's decorate our bedroom. Printer? Okay, printer definitely does not go in bedroom. Printer goes, printer goes in office. And printer likes it. Long dog, let's go! Egg. Bedside lamp. Alarm clock. Yoga mat. Pink yoga mat! Itty bitty backpack? Can I hang this in the foyer? Was there a hook in the foyer? Can I? No, there wasn't. I was kind of hoping that it was like a little like go out bag. Like a micro backpack you can just pick up and run whenever you need to. So I'm not sure about that quite yet. That's a keepsake box of some kind. It was in our closet originally. Speaker. <gasps> and a speaker for her. Are you saying that you do not have a laser print in your room for late night meme sharing? Are you telling me you print your memes out? Interesting. I don't like how those don't ma- Our old sketch- We've had that sketchbook for forever. The diffuser. I do like the diffuser in the window. The candle for the diffuser. The other candle. Uh, let's not put them directly underneath the, uh, the can- uh, the curtains. Our bug! Please! Our dead bug pet! He watches over us. So do you remember in the very beginning of the game, one of the first things I unpacked was a picture of a horse. This is that like before and after, like when artists do like, this is when I first started drawing in 2009 and now it's 2018. This is how far I've come. This is that photo. This game, man. All right, you're gonna go in the middle. We are majestic horsewomen. Uh, does that look more spaced out correctly or does this look more spaced out? Like, so there's one. My thing with isometric perspectives, man, is it really messes with my sense of perspective. How else would you share the memes with ye, with ye old homies? That's very true. Unless my cyan cartridge ran out and then I have to show people my memes on my laptop like a savage. Or if your gray runs out and you're like, all right, cool. The printer can just like, you know, mix inks to make a darker ink. No, it can't do that. If you need to print something in all like a dark ink, like black, 
and you only have like red, it won't even let you print. And you're just like, please, I just need to do this one thing. All right, our partner's notebook, bedside ideas. I want to say like she's a script writer or something. And I am like an artist. Well, I'm definitely an artist, um, clearly. Uh, her headphones, I, I love like the steampunk brown gold combination. My little going out bag. Can I not put it on my side of the bed? Hello? Hello? No? Aw, oh, beans. That's all right. Okay, we're gonna put the baby mo- This is going to be like a baby monitor. I don't know if it's actually meant to be a baby monitor, but that's what I'm using it as. Okay, uh, that can't go there. So, um, yeah, your portable speaker is gonna go there. The incense, I don't know where I want the incense to go. And the incense sticks, the other chick, 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 chick. There's so many now. Okay. All right. So now we have a walkie-talkie in this room. Watch there be an actual baby monitor in here and I'm just being silly. I love this wall. It's so cute. Oop. The hot water bottle. Uh, I guess it was okay on the bed the first time. Mama Hen. Oh my god, it's so cool. Okay, so... Interestingly, unless we don't have them yet, which is a very, like, you know, big possibility with how this game is structured. Um, interestingly, we uh, do not see the tiger or the pig. Let's go ahead and put our incense. Well, let's just go ahead and stick it. Oh, we're... oh we have these shells that we haven't even used yet. Hello. Incense could very easily go up here. Get my book? No, my book cannot. But uh, let's get literally all of our chickens in a row. But I do want to leave space just in case we do get the pig and the tiger back. And our notebook, I'm going to stick in our office for the time being. All right. Still not really sure what's because this is her backpack, I'm assuming. And this is my backpack. Mine can fit under the bed. Hers can't. So it's just going to have to deal with that for now. Oh, we got a hydrate for 100. Also, I'm going to do a quick stretch. The first time I streamed on Monday, I forgot to give myself water and I was just drinking coffee and it was, by the end of the stream, I was like walking like this. It was not a good time. All right, so make sure you hydrate, y'all. We're gonna put the succulents in the window. It's a bee! It's a little bee book! Okay, my dog just went crazy. A little ball, a bird book. Okay, uh, mobile or baby? Little baby clothes. All right. A little baby hat. A little baby ball. A baby blanket. Going to assume baby blanket. All right, we're gonna open this. I sure hope the baby isn't in one of the. Listen, man, I have some news to you about how babies are made. They come in these boxes, and you have to unpack them. There he is. Oh, you know what we can do? We can give the pig 
to the baby. And let them be happy with each other with the next generation. How cute would that be? Pacifier, important to have. So many blocks. I'm certain these can go in like a different place, but for the time being, I need to clear out these boxes just so I can see teething toy. What I'm working with in terms of space. <gasps> Rattle. Because we don't want to clog up or clog up, clog up the changing station. They come from the Stork Baby factory in a four pack in a box. All right, this is, ooh, this is like its own. Can I put things in this? Cause this definitely seems like it has containers. Cause this is our diaper bag, it looks like. Oh, hello, why did I put you over here? All right. Lotion, baby white. Well, here, let's not put these on the baby table. Lotion, baby wipes, a diapers. Baby blanket again? Or wait, I think these are burping blankets. All right, there's that box. Pillow. Another teething toy. Another rattle. A big old ball. Book. Burping towel. Oh, uh, it's one of these things. Yeah, that's our little our little character that we made. All right, pacifier. All right, more baby clothes. A bunny. We're gonna put the bunny in the chair. Er, no, he's gonna have his own little bunny. Baby hat. Also, it's like, I think I remember someone telling me that you're never supposed to put like anything like that in a baby's crib. Like I am not a mother. I do not know if that is a thing or not. But uh, if that is the case, then we shall move it if it gets mad at us. But if not, if it says it's okay, it's okay. More blocks. I wonder if the blocks can like go on the ground. Just kind of like, oh, cause that might be like a tripping hazard. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put the ball in here for now. Um. Cause they cannot stack any further. But I am gonna try and see if I can't like make them a little bit more decorative. All right. One more. There we go. Or something like that, at least. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about like stuffed animals. Like I know mobiles are relatively safe, but like something is like, you know, red flagging about stuffed animals or like blankets. Like you're not supposed to allow babies to sleep with anything loose like that. Whereas mobiles don't move essentially. <gasps> Toilet plant, let's go. Okay. Wash your hands. <gasps> poopery! I know it's potpourri or something like that, but it's funnier if you say poopery. Because that's what it's used to cover. Little hand towels. 
Trash can. Toilet paper. We're done. My office. Let's go. Big plan. Cactuses need sunlight. In the window. In the window. All right. I won an award. Hell yeah. A little witch. Okay. Figurine. Some kind of other award? My typeface book? All of my books? I'm gonna move that there for now. The notebook. Waste basket. Filing cabinet. Let's move you over here. What is this? Sticky notes! Eraser! Business cards with the pig on them! My headphones! My laptop! Another book! More books! Oh, it's that horse! Pens! Close your mouth, Gail. Listen. <laughs> Uh, sometimes my tracking gets a little lost whenever I'm talking a lot. I am trying my best. Then, uh... The perpetual motion machine. My moleskin! A Mario bear? Is that the tiger? Hang on. Oh goodness, pixels. Whoever he is, he's cool. I just learned that potpourri was a thing. Or poopery. All the best bathrooms have potpourri in them. There's a cool little pig character. Oh my god. The wrist brace. Hell yeah. So true to life. Our software. Our other notebook. More of our postcards. The other notebook. A purple notebook that we had. And our basket of wires. No matter what you think, it's not going to be useful. Wall clock. It's a Newton's cradle, not a perpetual motion machine. I thought it was something like that. The new it was like something scientific. Our bard. Did we write a children's book? Guys, I think we wrote a children's book. We wrote multiple- oh god, we wrote multiple children's books. We have it all packaged here and ready to go. My god. Oh, keyboard. Keyboard's important. All right, we're gonna put that there for now. Jesus Christ, I just keep coming. How many of these did you put on back order? Wall poster. Oh, there's us! So I, I guess you became a children's book author or something? All right, there's our monitor. So let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. Put our laptop there. We're gonna put our stacks of notebooks. Because I guess these are old sketchbooks or like old notebooks. They're going to kiff. Put the monitor there. Keyboard. There we go. Our business cards are going to go here. Our sticky notes are going to be facing the right way and go here or next to our pens. Wrist brace. Cannot forget it. Headphones can go over here. The eraser can go... Do you have a space right there? No, oh, right there. That's fine. All right, for now. We're still clearing spaces out. Oh, hell yeah, that's a beautiful tower. It's gonna go right there. Go away. Uh, there is our diploma. <gasps> we have a Cintiq! Y'all, we have a Cintiq. That's amazing. 
thing. That's so good. Holy crap. That's such a neat attention to detail. More of our, okay. More of our art books. I'm gonna try and see how many of these we can sneak behind the children's book. The Wi-Fi router. Uh, can the laptop? Laptop can rest here for now. The ukulele! Can ukulele go here? Whenever you need a quick strum. The moleskin book. Desk lamp. Lighting is important. The Prismacolor markers. It's starting to look like my desk. Jesus. Oh, the lava lamp. The guitar book. The guitar notebook. Oh, goodness. All right. That's a decision. Okay. Laptop is going to go in here for safekeeping. Easel cannot go there. Okay. Space. What are we going to do about space? I guess I could put this just a little bit closer. And put you up there. You need to light my Cintiq for me. You guys all kind of have a same aesthetic. Why is there no... Ooh, that bothers me. There's no mouse pad. Unless the mouse pad's somewhere else. The router can go over here. Headphones. Right there. Alright. Look at that! Our own little studio! Awesome. Movie ticket. Our dragon book! Alright, these are gonna go in a special place in our office. These are special books. I guess I want to say... They're the same colors as Aragon Eldest and Brisinger. And I'm wondering if they're loosely based on that because they're thick. Our family photo. Ooh, wine glass, hello? Two wine glasses, hello? Three wine glasses. The whales have returned! Four wine. Are these the same wine glasses that the, that one dude had? Did we take those? Ooh, that's a pretty bowl. Don't know what you are, but you're going in here. You're 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 the, you're the scanner. Duh. Oh, this is a baby book. This is kind of like a book that we would read, so that can go there. Aragon. All right. Another thick book can go here. Coaster. All right. Uh, plant. Let's put you there. Succulent in the window to get some light. Her laptop. I almost kind of want to have like a little space in... I literally could have just went the other way twice. I'm gonna move this back just slightly. Don't need to be like directly on the shelves. Just a little bit too forward. There we go. I love this little, like, water market boat. The menorah! Can we put the menorah in the window? Wait, can I move you and put the menorah in the window? I can! 
that leave a little place for you, Suckleon? No, we'll, sh we'll, we'll see. The award. I think it might be an award. I, I honestly don't know what that is. So this is her poster. Yeah, because it's signed. So that makes me believe that she worked on it. Antihero, the book. That book. My old sketchbook. We have another old sketchbook, y'all. There we go. Placemat for one. Placemat for two. Placemat for not three. Who hasn't pocketed the Nexus wine glasses? True. All right. Pepper and salt. I don't know where I want the wine glasses to go though, because there are some pieces that can be incredibly decorative. But I don't think I want the wine glasses to be like that. But we can probably set the table. Oh, we can't set the table, unfortunate. We are, however, going to grab these coasters and head to the living room to put them on here. Napkin holder. Um, yeah, I think I want it running this way. And I'll move you over here. And I'll have you right there. There we go. That's toaster. Oh, look at all the places for your appliances. All right, that should be an empty. You know what? I'm actually gonna try and set this as best I can. So if everyone drinks from their left hand, or sorry, their right hand, that should be set correctly, right? Technically, I don't know anything about like fine dining. Soap. And people soap. Oh, people soap facing the wrong way. People soap. And a little sponge. You are a fancy. God damn it, I won an award. I earned this. <laughs> All right, glasses are gonna go. These are, these are some nice glasses. Is this Tabasco sauce? Okay, now we have to make a decision. What's going to be. Oh, we can put spices down here! Oh, mortar and pestle. My mother-in-law got me a mini one for Christmas. The koala magnet, let's go! I guess that's us. And there's the uh, picture of the four of us. <gasps> Guys, she met our friends. And that's her magnet, I guess. Oh, kissing. Oh, this makes my heart so happy. The candle. Uh, oh, I want I want to put the candle on the table. Cannot put the candle on the table. So no, the candle is going to make the room nice and fragrant. It's gonna go. It's gonna go here for now. Sugar. Another glass. Another glass. The striped mugs. Pretty bowl. A heart-shaped cook. Okay, I'm gonna put the cookie cutters in this drawer to start. The bus! The red bus! Let's go! Red bus, front and center. You know, wait, can you go here? Are you the last? You're the last little travel piece! You want an award? Can't you afford better hot sauces? Ooh, a globe. You probably could, but like, sometimes you just want to be, you know, basic. I can roll with that, honestly. <gasps> Clear mixing bowl. And we're gonna put the baking soda just a little bit higher. 
Wait, no, baking stuff probably can go in like one of these. Oh no, it can't. Never mind. There we go. A rolling pin. More cookie cutters. A little, another little cup. Another little cup. Third little cup. The nice coffee. The espresso maker. It's not our heart cup, but it, it's close. If there's four of that, I don't, I actually might want to put these like here along like this. Because we now look like have matching dish sets, which is nice. So let's go ahead. It's the shark or the tuna boat or the tray, the little egg timer. There you go. The whiteboard. Uh, I guess we can move some of these around just a little bit. There we go. The other whale! He can't fit! Hang on. Where is a good windowsill? Or we can put the whales here. Watching you play this is very satisfying. Playing it is very satisfying. I honestly can't believe I slept on this game for so long. Because it is incredibly zen and it makes me want to go just organize the rest of my house. Alright, a whisk. Spatula. Ladle. Because look at these, they're all matching. Ooh, spice rack, definitely. Gotta be within arm's reach. Uh... That's our cleaning stuff. So the big pot's gonna go back here. Little pot's gonna go there. Ooh, we have a, oh, what are they called? Garlic. Uh, baking shells we can put down here, I guess. Reckon it's worth it. Been on the fence on buying it, but hasn't it because of all the comments about it lacking content? My guy, I have been sitting here for four and a half hours and I have been enjoying myself. It might be a short game. I don't know how long this game is. This seems pretty penultimate when it comes to just content in general. Um, but honestly, I'm having so much fun with it. And it definitely feels like you can just be content you know, redecorating things. Like, whenever you play. You know? It's also on Game Pass, which is how I'm playing it. Love the lore you've been brewing? I don't know if I've been brewing it or if the game devs have been, like, purposefully hinting at it. Ooh. Y'all just heard my ringtone, maybe. Um, back on that One Piece grind. But also, look. It says poo. Get it? <laughs> okay, little poop emoji can go here. Because I feel like we're meant to spell something out. Now it says two! some plus sign. That is not a magnet. That is a French press. Y'all, we have a knife. That looks like the knife pluck that Bab and I have. Hell yeah. Put it out of reach. <gasps> Knives. <laughs> what do you have there? A knife. Spoons. Tinier spoons. The fancy soda bottle, water bottle? I think it's a water bottle. Oh, 
Now, Sir Balto, we don't know that for certain. The boombox could definitely still make an appearance in the last room. We just have to hold out hope. Anti-hero water bottle! That's cool. Uh, extra virgin olive oil, I'm assuming. Don't like how it's hiding behind the sugar, though. I use sugar way too much to have it be hidden. The industrial tub size of whatever this is. Forks! <gasps> ew, ew, John Madden. I think we just have the vowels. Wait, guys. Ooh, ooh. That one's just kissy. Okay. We have A. E. I. Oh, you, John Madden. One plus two, and then we can just keep equals three down here. Because it's two of us plus the baby. That's how I'm seeing it. It is three cactus. Okay, we got that can opener thing. Uh, not really in the baking. I don't want to put it there. Uh, nope. Close, cl close the, close the, close the drawer. Do we have anything in this yet? That's all of our red silverware. I'm wondering if I can put that in there because that feels like it's going to match. And we can put the ice cream in here maybe? One spoon. Yeah, this just kind of feels like generic items. Like the wooden utensils. Oh, wait, hold on. Tongs. Can I fit the tongs here? And I don't think I can. So tongs are going to, despite them being red, which is nice that they're matching, I think they have to go in there. The menorah candles! All right, menorah candles are gonna be put here since the menorah is right there. Scrubby brush. Measuring cups for baking. And the tiny ones. The drying rack. Uh, hold on. Drying rack. Misplaced by a sponge! I can go in the sink for now. We have room. Do you have room? It, you'll be fine in the sink for now. Oven mitts! Wait, can I hang them someplace? Can I hang my oven mitts? No? Alright, oven mitts. Oven mitts? <laughs> Put them on the oven. Alright, for now, oven mitts are gonna go there. We have more cooking sheets. We have more cooking sheets. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, maybe we put the cooking sheets over here. Can I stack them three? I can't. Which leaves us a whole other drawer for things. <gasps> Another plate. Where are our big plates? I'm surprised I haven't gotten to those yet. There they are. All right. Let's move. I'd be willing to move, like, the baking stuff on top of the fridge. But I don't feel like that's going to fit correctly. So can I move the plates in here? Pop the measuring cup down there. And then move this more towards the everyday. There we go. Big plates, let's go!
cutting board. Cutting board. I have to make room for the microwave. Because I can't be the kind of person that has it just sitting on top of the fridge. So microwave is gonna go here. Oh wait, no, microwave is gonna go, do you fit? There. Because if you do, oh, that makes, oh, that's very satisfying. Wait, is that a little hook? Are you a little hook? Oh no, you're the, t you're the top of the coffee thing. Duh. Toaster can go here. Mortar and pestle. It's a little crowded, but it can probably go here. Measuring cup. Right there. Close this drawer. This is toilet paper. Where's our little bathroom? Can't leave anyone stranded. Paper towels. Do we have like a little paper towel roll? They can go there. Strainer. I really want to find a place for my oven. Mitts. Ooh, rice cooker. Big appliance. We put the chemicals on the top shelf instead. Keep things a little bit more separate. Alright, let's start stacking these. Oh, they match. Oh, that can go behind there. Cheese grater. The lid to that. I'm not sure what are these trash bags? I think so. Industrial size trash can. All right. That seems to be everything. Kind of sad I didn't find a, like a easy spot for this. These are our matching mugs. I just realized. How cute is that? So we're gonna put those here. Move these here. And everything else looks pretty okay. Sushi, or a little fish tray. All right. Our video games. All right. We have to do this strategically. The photo album. That's gonna go right here. That's a DVD. So DVDs are gonna go down there. Which ones are DVDs, which ones are Blu-rays, and which ones are, like, video games? That's a book. This is a movie. This is definitely a book. It's a beautiful book. So let's see about our bookshelf. Let's see about a bookshelf for this, too. I'm just slightly jealous of that. I wish it would snow here. Like, snow properly. This is a video game. Oh, and then this is up. What am I doing? That's a, that's a movie. Uh, this is... I don't know. This feels like it's gonna be a movie. The Nintendo has made a return! Also, thank you, Feathered Crusader, for the follow. 
welcome on in. Hope you're enjoying yourself this uh, late Friday evening. We are just enjoying uh, decorating our house. We're moving in. Moving up in the world. Quite literally. This is a 3DS game. 3DS game. 3DS game. <gasps> the controllers have made a ritual. You can do what Bab and I do and just put the, the controllers decoratively in front of the TV. Blu-ray. Uh, this is Legend of Zelda. This is a video game. This is a classic GameCube game. This is another movie. This is a Blu-ray. This is a Blu-ray. Nuclear Narwhals. So apparently we had a favorite game. This is a Wii game. So that's going to go here. This is an electric kettle that was in with the rest of the stuff electric kettle can okay i thought i had this all sorted evidently i do not so the mittens mittens are gonna go somewhere else i don't know where i keep my mittens in a drawer so do we have drawer space to pop mittens in also we're missing our huge knife but we do have a knife block now, so I'm not sure. Just been looking and this is a super chill game. Also a huge fan of the thumbnails. Well, thank you. Very happy that you enjoy them. I do not want to store the oven mitts on the oven. But this looks like the tea kettle that Bab and I have. All right, a little planter. Oh, it's the little, these little things that she moved in with. Nuclear narwhals is a blatant asbestos anteaters completely ruined the game. What is asbestos anteaters? <gasps> the Wii! Can the Wii not- <gasps> The Wii can't fit. Hang on. All right, Wii are just gonna go here for now. The Wii Mote, gonna go here for now. The other Nintendo controller, here for now. The other Wii Mote, here for now. Uh, uh the v VCR, uh, the actual remote. Okay. And eaters made from asbestos. I can't tell if you're like, if that's an actual game? Or if that was just a tongue-in-cheek joke. Let's hang this here. <gasps> Cozy pillow, number one. Go in there. No, it's not. Okay. The dragon has made a return! You're cool. You can go here. Our umbrellas are coming out next here. Oh, wait, no. This can go in the front. We already have that. It goes right there. N another game? The other pillow. Where is the giant throw? Oh, the watering can. Alright, that can go there. The spritzer can go there. The coasters! Alright, that's a GameCube game. That's a GameCube game. That's Animal Crossing. Jubble! That looks like Minecraft. That's clearly Super Mario Galaxy. This is another DVD. Another coaster. Don't know what that game's supposed to be. That's Okami! They have Okami! Wait! Look at it! Hell yeah! Let's go! My favorite artist is streaming? Hell yeah! Yeah! Welcome in, Pure Gluten! I'm just doing a late night cozy stream. And I, uh, I just found my favorite game. Oh, the Wii games are starting to bleed over. Do we have room? Oh, we don't have that 
We have some, okay, we have some room for games over here. We have so many GameCube games. Another Blu-ray. The giant throw, let's go. Another Blu-ray. Another Blu-ray. Another coaster. All right, the candle is not happy. So many things in here are not happy. The little fish is not happy. Where can I, oh. Candles, is that honey? Is that meant to be honey, not a candle? Okay, mortar and pestle. Can you go up here? Yes, you can. Little timer. Do you not want to be? Hope that works. Okay, mittens, mittens. Can I stack you? I cannot. All right, I will come back to this in a second. Because the Wiimotes are going to go here. I noticed though, oh, it's because we don't need the Wii anymore. We don't need the uh, GameCube anymore because we own the Wii. What do you mean you can't have the Wii in front of the TV? That's how I had it growing up. Oh, you can just facing a weird direction. Oh, you can turn it on! You can interact with things? Game on! A familiar tale! I didn't know you could do that! You can... Pr oh, hey! Pure Gluten! Thank you so much for the, uh, the sub! Well, come on in and... You could have... You could be interacting with these things the whole time? Hey, that's a, that's something I would have liked to know. <laughs> Mine was also in front of the TV. I didn't know there was so many controls. I'm over here just put like fixing things, putting things up. I hate how it can't face forward. Also, uh, you're gonna be playing this game, and we're gonna pretend that there's enough room to put the Wii and the games in together. Photo album is gonna go here. Her laptop is gonna go here, since I assume that she likes to work on the couch, since it's been there for a while and she hasn't said anything. The coasters are fine. I can't interact with the throw. I can turn on the lights, though, which is nice. I almost want to put something in these because it is just the three of them up here from launch day until it died hell yeah i mean as long as it served its purpose here hold on can you go there and can you go down here yes you can all right now something is upsetting about okay the fish is upset the fish is not upset anymore. However, that's a little crowded up there. So I'm gonna do some moving around. I move my little succulent there. There we go. That's a little bit more even. Okay. Okay, the rat, baby's room's upset. Baby's room did not like the blocks being where they were but they can be on the floor, you know, as a tripping hazard. It didn't die until like three years ago, so it served me extremely well, no complaints. Well, little wee, you did your job. Bab and I had our wee up until uh, we moved, which was about four to five years ago, I wanna say at this point. Alright, but now I need to start putting things like, can the rattles go? Okay, the rattles can go in the decorative area, which to me is weird because I imagine you'd want to give them to your kid. Uh, the remote does not want to be in this room, so it is not a baby monitor. But it is okay with being in this room, so that's fine. Alright, is anything else upset in here? 
No? Okay. Nothing's upset in here. The notebook is upset because it's not in the office with the other one. Here we go. And something... What do you mean the bath mat's upset? Where do you want me to put it? Oh, it's not a bath mat. It's a tower. Er, tower. It's a shower thing. The hamper. Okay, the hamper does not like being there. Oh, the hamper can go right there. That's perfectly fine. All right, cool. But now that I know you can interact with things, I'm gonna go and touch a bunch of stuff. Turn on the console. There we go. Can I turn on anything else? Can I set the clock? Oh, I can. Wait, what time is it? Oh. Oh, all right. Can I start it? An achievable! Set the time on the microwave? Can I do any- can I light the menorah? I cannot. Can I light it using this? I cannot. Uh, can I turn on this antique? I cannot. Is there a radio or a boombox, Sir Balto? Unfortunately, I don't think our boombox made it. F's in chat for the boombox. Also, I, I do kind of like, I hated it to start, but I do kind of like how each of us has our own lamp shade shape. All right, can I touch anything else? Touch, 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 touch. Can I? No, it looks like the only thing I could touch was really the, uh... I'm sorry, there's a, oh, I can't get to the garage. Could I? Or is that just a room that I'm not allowed to be in? No end game boombox. Unfortunately, the music did not make it with us. Oh, there's a filter for all this stuff. It's so excited. I can't enter my own garage. Yeah, it looks like I can just... Yeah, that's the kids' room. That was the closet. That's our room. That's the bathroom. That's the dining room, the kitchen, the living room, my office, the guest bathroom, and then I guess the garage. I guess the garage, we just didn't decorate. That's where our boombox is, I'm going to decide. Also, Princess Bubblecum, thank you so much for the follow. Great username. And I took a picture of the foyer. Our new home. Yeah, we can pretend it's like an entryway. Oh wait, we can have a playback? Oh no. Oh, this is so satisfying to, this is like a speed paint. It's so satisfying to look at. I mean, slightly infuriating when I can't figure out what I want to do, but I see the appeal. Can I stop it? Hello? Okay, I am able to stop it. All right. Oop, that's us, okay. And that was it! Oh my gosh! That was such a good game! Oh. Oh, there's a song too. Oh, and it's going to go through all of our, all of our photos. Oh my God, yeah. We wanted to be an artist or an animator or like a game designer or something to do with art. Uh-oh. Disappeared there for a second. Yeah, we moved in with our friends. We played D&D. &D, and then we moved in with this dude who was, you know, the douchebag. Uh, yeah, me finding all the features in the last level, I think, is pretty on point. But, uh, moving back with our parents, getting our bug friend, our first studio. Oh, we did win. 
we uh we moved in to a home and we won like an award and everything we had a baby that's our foyer by the way because i forgot that you had to take a picture of wherever you were at the time but oh my gosh what a sweet game oh the red bus made it hell yeah red bus Oh my god, what a sweet game. We stole the wine glasses for our Pepsi products, hell yeah. All of our art supplies. Oh, this was such a good game. I'm so happy I played this. Our little bug friend. Oh, this was so good. The chickens. Every single time we moved, we got more chickens. Now we finally have the whole crew. This was such a good game! I didn't think it would be like this deep or like this satisfying to be. I thought it was just one of those like cute little like, you know, make your own kind of home game, unpack how you- It had a whole ass story. It was about an artist finding her own way, playing D&D, you know, having some struggles, getting back on her feet. Oh. This was so good. I definitely recommend this game. It's on, uh, it was a humble game. It's on Game Pass. I don't know if it's, uh, on Steam or anything. Oh, in memory of, with the little pig, beloved grandmother. Oh, this was so good. Nineteen ninety seven to two thousand eighteen. Oh no. Oh, that's so sweet. So happy at the end. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Unpacking. And I think that's back to the title screen. Oh, that was so good! Let me look at all the stickers. Okay, so there's some things. Electrical hazard. Rediscover childhood. Tidy whities. Blast some tunes. Brew some coffee. Brilliantly solved. Solve a puzzle. I think that's just the magnet. Solve a puzzle. Hat on head. Gotta flush them all. And baby, I think you have to stack all the blocks or something. But uh, it's so cute how they're tied to achievements. Oh my goodness, this was such a nice game. I've been going for about five hours now, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and call it there for tonight. I, again, I'm so happy I played this. This was so good. Highly recommend, really enjoyed myself. Um. In terms of, like, other streams going forward, I do believe that I am streaming again this Sunday with, uh, Sea of Thieves. I'm all set up for it. Ready to go. But, um, I'm gonna try and definitely stream way more often. Um, kind of have more of a consistent schedule, whether it be more games or just more art. Um, I'm gonna do what they did in Unpacking, and I'm gonna follow my passion. But yeah. Good night, man car. Have a great great rest of your evening and good night everybody. Thank you again all for the subs and for the follows. And I'm really happy that I was able to share this with you. I'm super happy that I was able to share this with you. I'm going to try and make this into a vod so people on YouTube can enjoy. And I'm probably going to want to relive this over and over because this was such a good game. Uh, friend and Brazzers, thank you so much for the follow. And, uh, I will see you guys all later. Go check this game out. Have fun with it. Decorate your own house, your own home. Make it yours. And be happy. I'll catch you guys all next time. Love you. Bye.